Alright guys and welcome back for another edition of night time. Good crew tonight. Uh, oh, hang on, we've got Pugsley too. Yeah. Oh, we've got Pugsley on the end. Oh, good evening. A MJ. How are we? Good mate, good to have you back. Hey Jono. Good to be back. Good to be back mate. Travel guides? Yes, on soon. On soon. Mm. And in the bar tonight we have uh, the crazy lady. Hello. And the crazy old man. Hi. So, uh, yeah, what a good round of footy. Certainly was. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm happy with the draw. Um, I obviously would have preferred the, the two points, win, but, yeah. you know, to go away and come back with one point is better than a loss. Yeah. And yeah, mate, they played pretty good footy and they're competitive, and mm. that's all you ask of the team. So, um, no doubt they would have got plenty of confidence either out of having that draw. Mm. And the, there's some performances I just see growing and mm. it, better and better each week, like Gamble, Hastings, yeah. uh, Greg Mazu, yeah, Dom yeah, Young bounced Dom back Young, yeah. Yeah. Lockie, <laughs> in, in a big Millie, way. Lockie Millie's in great form. Yeah, although he didn't have his best game on the weekend. But. Oh. <laughs> well, he what probably was going on? One incident. Well, yeah, well, that, but he he dropped a few and he, he mm. threw in a couple of ordinary mm. passes. But, mm. but yeah, no, where, where is it? He obviously lost his... Coordination where he or, was? Awareness of mm. where he was. And he thought... I think the try line was behind him. Right? Yeah, it was actually, yeah. the dead ball line. That's what it looked like the way he was running. And I'm yeah. like, oh shit! But yeah, well, you win some, you lose some, and that. But mm. yeah, yeah, you know, he'll bounce back. But what's that? His twelfth, thirteenth game, of first. Yeah, game? around yeah. that. So you know, he has come from rugby union as well. Mm. So, oh, is um, he a union player? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a oh, seven, right. sevens, sevens player. Union yeah. player, but yeah. Oh, so okay. he's, you know, he, he's done really well so far, mm. and he can only get better. I think. Well, that's the, you know, a lot of talk has been around, should Caelan go back to one? How can you? Well, not with the performances that, that he's put in, like, like he's been mm. terrific so far this year. I mean, we have we give the 3-2-1 points and a triple M call each week to the Knights players, and Lockie's winning that hands down. Mm. So, yes. you know, he, he started the year on fire. <laughs> and, yeah, rightly so, like, absolute... You know, people say by the year, Adam Reynolds, yeah, they are. Mm. I'd throw um, Lockie up in it as a, a dark horse. For, well, for us, he's, you know, yeah, look what he's, he's done for us. Boy, yeah. So, um, mm. you know, know, know. Oh, up there with um, Greg Marzu, I reckon he's yeah. up there. Is mm. like, oh, he's as, as for the club, you've got like your Lockie Miller, and I wouldn't put it far behind Greg Marzu. He's, for the short amount of games he's played, he's been pretty outstanding. Mm. Well, I was disappointed when I heard Dom Young was leaving. Mm. But, like, no disrespect to Dom, but you look at what Marzu does as well, a good defender, mm. I think Dom sort of lacks a little bit in defence at times, goes goes walkabout off his wing. Yeah. I think Marzu might be the better piece of the puzzle for us. Yeah, look, and, and he's terrific, you know, coming out, out of the backfield mm, yeah. and taking the hard yards. Mm. So, you know, oh, I think he's been terrific from that point of view, and he'll, he'll be there for quite a while on that mm. wing. Dom, you know, he was poor the week before when he got dropped. But he came back and he had a blinder on the mm. weekend and four tries and terrific performance he made. Well, yeah, um, that's a... Well, is, sorry, does Dom deserve to keep his position now? Or? Absolutely. On yeah, last week's yeah, performance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. Um, but, I mean, that's the nature of the game too. You, you're in one week, out the next. It's mm. it's, uh, it's up to you to, con to keep... Well, that's right. Performance. I mean, he got dropped because he had a poor performance. So it was up to him and he, he played well in the reserve grade mm. game. So they gave him another opportunity and he, he was terrific well, again in first grade. Well, that's what we said there the other week when people said, oh, they've dropped him. But, uh, you know, it works as a confidence booster. Like yeah. you said, he went back, he blitzed it and he said, you know, look at me, you can't leave me out now. So, you know, yeah. that might be Dom... For, Wake up call for the rest of the year. Well, that's right, and it was, and I think he said that as well. You know, he was shocked that he got dropped, and it gave him a good wake up call. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what a 
love to see it. It's good, like we said, out at uh, the regional team, towns as well. Yeah, I mean, Mudgee's a great town and it's great to see games going back to the bush because we need that more and more because, um, you know, a lot of clubs are dying out in the bush um, and are really struggling. So we need as many games back there as possible. And I'd like to see, you know, the, the uh, trial games even go back to the bush. Mm. Just have. Yeah, that'll be... Yeah, well, they, they should actually do that because, you know, um, what is... You know, half a dozen teams you could throw yeah, games up there. You go to each just regional yeah. town. Well, uh, the annual charity sale between South and St George is always held at Mudgee every every year. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's Mudgee's getting a good good exposure every every yeah. time. So, be right. You know, I need to spread it out a bit more as well as yeah. Tamworth and mm. yeah, Harbour. I, I think every club should take at least one game mm. to the bush. Somewhere. Yep. You know, obviously you got we've got what three or four Queensland teams now, so let's put it up there somewhere as well. Games up there, and then games in New South Wales. Speaking of teams, I heard a rumor today that the Adelaide Rams are pushing to come back in. Yeah, baby, yeah. Mm. So, hmm, I, I, I would think they would go to Perth before they went to Adelaide. Hmm. I reckon. I think I think we need to get that 18th team in just so we can get the magic round every team plays your magic round yeah Yeah, because i'm filthy at that absolutely filthy Mm -hmm. at how they come across to why the knights should miss out yeah they said that the fans don't travel and that sort of thing what a load of horseshit yeah and you know they said the numbers were low from the year before well six o'clock on a friday night you know, oh, I was going to say too, like you got all these Sydney-based teams, like all together. Of course, they're going to travel. Like you're going to get great attendance in Sydney-based teams because they're all close together. But the thing is, do they not watch the Knights games hmm. and see that we travel? Yeah. We don't care where it is. We'll go to the entire together to watch the boys. You know, so yeah. I mean that was a bit of a, a ludicrous call to be honest. But um, a bit of a head scratcher. And you, what do you guys think over in the bar? <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Hang on, I think they've been drinking the too much over the bar. Well, how would you feel if um, Penrith weren't in Magic Round, Kylie? <coughs> Look, less chance of injuries, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That's <laughs> what gets every team every year, and if they can rest for a week, then so be it. Uh, to, to be honest, I think maybe the Dragons shouldn't be in it, because they can't seem to produce any magic this year. So. What about no, the West Tigers? I was about to say that, the Tigers. Tigers. Yeah, <laughs> well, we Can you lay off my Dragons for one week, <laughs> will you, please? <laughs> no. no so, well, speaking good. of the Tigers, too, what's going on there? Because you have a look at their team on paper. They've got some talent. Happy Coruscant for one. Mm, Clamour. Well, we won't go there. And, um, <laughs> you know, there's a, quite a few, but nothing's happening. Well, Happy Coruscant think- ran for, like, Ridiculous low amount last week. Mm. I think it's that. I think it's that spine. To be honest, you got what's his name, Laurie. Oh, Dan Laurie. Dan Laurie. He's an all right player. I think Dewey's at five eight now. He's in decent five eight. Brooks is hot mess. <laughs> and you got that Brandon Wakem up. He come on and um, absolutely killed it. Yeah. And yeah. then you got Chorus out, but is he more of a systems player than a? Mm. Like a good player. Yeah, but Coruscant is good if he's got a forward pack going forward True. and can work off that. So, mm. you know, if he, and the Tigers' forward pack haven't been mm. too good. So he's struggling to make, make metres out of there. Yeah, and Clement doesn't look real good there either. Well, the I, well to be on honest, like yeah. you put, um, who's a, if you put, say, Harry Grant on the Tigers, do you reckon he'll be doing better than Coruscant or do you reckon he'll ha- have the same amount of struggles as well? Yeah, he'd probably run a little bit more, but, but again, yeah, if your forward pack's not dominating and going forward, mm-hmm. then you're so going to struggle more like a up behind them. Forward pack problem than a. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, at least we're not in that it's, issue. It's an old so. cliche, you know, the forwards are not yeah. going. Mm. Mm. It is. And mm. it's still, my like, game's what, 120 year old or 110 mm. year old, so, mate, and, and it still works, mate, if your forward pack is dominating, mm. you should win the game. 100%. Mm. So, which is, you know, with the how well we have been going in the last couple of weeks, mm. a lot of that's got to go to the blokes like uh, Leo Thompson, yeah. you know, um, the yeah. Saifidi. They've been, been terrific, mate. Dan's been been really good since he got back from his injury. I mean, yeah, Leo Thompson's been terrific. 
uh, mm. Freeze, Tyson Frizzell has mm. been great. Lucky Fitzgibbon's been good too. He's been awesome this year, Lucky. Yeah. I, I reckon. Mm. Like he's the passes, best form he's had for a long yeah, time. Like yeah. Coming off but, gamble with those yeah. passes yeah. and uh, hitting, hitting the line. See, that's the thing. But Tyson Frizzell, like he plays good, like that. it doesn't surprise you. <coughs> you know, you sort of come to expect that from him. He just doesn't give up. But yeah, yeah. even to be honest, I'll throw this out there too. I haven't been a big fan of Jack Johns. Yep. Last week, ate my words. Yeah, yeah, no, he was terrific. Mm. He, he really went well. And, you know, their bench has been terrific as well. Matt Craig is a great player. Mm. I, I like him. Jack Edrington, I know Jack, and, you know, how he played. And he, he plays with a bit of aggression, which is terrific. And Brady Jones has been great too. And then he got a, when Adam Elliott comes back from injury. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So who do you, yeah, who do you take off out yeah, of there? That? Yeah, that's a tricky thing. Um, yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later. I've got my theory, but um, but is it as I said, it is a good headache for Adam oh, yeah. to have without doubt. Hundred percent. Like he's got a lot more players at his disposal this year what he did in previous. Mm. But did you see Canterbury are looking for an exemption because they got was it ten players out or something with yeah. the thirty man squad? Well, we had a lot out and we didn't. You know, there was nothing mm. from us. So um, yeah. Suck it up and keep playing. Yeah, exactly. So that's a, my issue too. Is I feel that shouldn't be a top thirty. If you are in reserve grade or whatever or any grade, and you mm. need to be called up first grade, yeah. as long as you're in that squad, you should be allowed yeah, to. That, that's right. Like it used to happen. Like yeah. Years ago. That's I think right. it was Max Chapman. Mm. Oh, Max Chapman. Yep, yep. Now was playing President's Cup, and he got a call up late that day to play. Yeah, would have played hooker. Okay. Yeah. And first grade, yeah. yeah, you got a call up there. So, I mean, look, you know, get back to them days. What's a blast from the past, Max Chapman? Max Chapman, yeah. 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 Another yeah. one was, he um, Max too. I remember another one did the same was, uh, Michael Eager. Yeah, Mickey. Mm. Yeah, so, and, and even back then, like, I, I mean, it would never happen now, but you know, you, I remember plenty of times playing, certainly when I was at St. George playing under 23s, stood by then for reserve grade. Played sort of 15, 20 minutes in reserve grade, then stood by for first grade and maybe got 10 minutes in first grade as well. So. Mm. I remember as a young kid, 1985, this is going back a long way, a hooker for St George, Chris Guider. Yeah. Played three, play played, Chris, played three res- President's Cup, reserve yep. grade, and come on for first grade. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That would yeah. be a memorable day for him. That's well, well, they yeah, won, the two, they won the, the two lower grades, but yeah. they didn't win the top one. No, got beat 7-6. Six. Six. So I bit played of a, in the reserve grade game that day. Yeah. Bit of a trend still going on there, is it? <laughs> yeah, nothing's, nothing's changed. <laughs> oh, sorry, I shouldn't read me off because nah. we've been there a long time ourselves. But um, we might take a few words from our sponsors and be back shortly. Support our show sponsor, Grand Matriarch Distillery, that gives us the beautiful Grand Matriarch vodka that you see on our show every week. Join the reward program, and for every nine bottles you purchase, you do get one free. Grand Matriarch Distilling in the beautiful Sapphire Coast of New South Wales. You cannot go wrong with their product, I promise you. That's grandmatriarch.com.au. All right, guys, it's time for our new segment. It's uh, We've got a bit of a Triple M rush hour theme. We've got Triple M with MG, and we've got Elliot from uh, Triple M up in uh, Townsville, uh, the rush hour. So the new segment now is the rush quarter hour. So, uh, how are you, buddy? I'm doing well, guys. How are you? Mate, not too bad at all, not too bad at all. How did you see the weekend, mate? Uh, it was just another game where... I sat there afterwards and was proud as a Newcastle fan, which, as you all know, has been few and far between for the last 10 years. And, uh, you know, the, the result a little bit frustrating in the end. But the fact they had the resolve to come back twice when it looked like they were dead and buried early in the game and then, of course, laid on and that try that was taken off Bradman for God knows what. Uh, I just, honestly, I sat there and I was I was proud. I was really proud. Mm, it was, and uh, good to... Uh Put in a good performance against Manly, too. Yeah, I mean, obviously you always like beating the scum, but uh, as long as they don't take the points, it's OK. <laughs> um, it's good to see um, the game in regional New South Wales areas, too. Good to see them go to Mudgee. I think there's a game later in Tamworth this year. Mm. Game in Coffs, I believe, as well. So it's good to see the game expanding everywhere. 
Yeah, well, I mean, for those that watch it on telly and haven't spent much time in Mudgee, it's a beautiful part of the world. The only thing I found confusing was how there's so many Manly fans there because it is so lovely. But um, you're right, standing in the regions, I'm from Tamworth originally, so, you know, seeing the games there as well, it's special. Yeah, well, we've got MG on the night, so, uh, yeah, he's had a few run-ins with Manly over the years. So uh... <laughs> Yeah, mate, yeah, definitely there has been a few. But, uh, no, it was great to see them, uh, the Knights put up a terrific performance. So, as you said, it was um, you were very proud of them, and I was likewise. And I think there's a mentality in the team now. They're, they're talking around, you know, going back to the future, I suppose, in mm. a bit of old school and saying we're actually playing for the supporters. It's a working class town. We need to play that way, etc. So, And I think, you know, our crowds have always been happy as long as we have a dig. They don't mind if we get beat. And some of the newer guys too, like um, obviously it's no su- uh, surprise there that I'm a big Tyson Gamble fan, but mm. all these new ones seem to have adapted to the club and they're playing for the jersey. Yeah, they are indeed. I mean, it's been terrific. Uh, you're right. And they've had a number of players come in. And so I think quite a, a fair bit of the side are from outside of Newcastle. But uh, they're coming in. They're loving the place. They're trying to make, I guess... the the crowd proud of their performances Mm. and you know that's all we I guess ask of them each week oh mate speaking of Manly wasn't that Manly that tackle that you pulled off on Craig Field that was against Manly wasn't it it was indeed (laughs) many years ago but uh, poor Craig Field (laughs) yeah well he he got up in the end which was disappointing but (laughs) (laughs) yeah but um, yeah it's good to see but what's your take on uh, where does KP fit back into the puzzle you there, Elliot? Uh, well, oh, for me, sorry, mate. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, No, you're good. No, you're right. Um, oh, look, he'll come back in and play six when he's fit and good to go. It'll just be um, Tyson will, will move to 14, which, you know, it's a good problem to have when you've got players performing in roles. And I love Tyson Gamble too. He's a competitor. But, um, you know, if you can bring him on after, you know, let's say half an hour for the last 10 of a half or after 50 minutes for the last half hour of game, mm. you've got a bloke that... Um, I like calling him the rat. I know we talked about it last week. He does look like a grown-up splinter. Um, and, and he's just a ball of energy. He goes. You know, if you support any other team, you probably can't stand Tyson Gamble. Mm-hmm. But now he's on our side. He just – he doesn't stop. And, and and again, I'll tip my cap to, to Peter Parr. You know, the mm-hmm. recruitment at the Knights for a number of years has been below average. Uh, but this past year, at this stage, they got it right. Bringing in competitors, bringing in uh, Hastings, bringing in Gamble, even – like Hetherington, this is the best football I've seen him play, and, and we're still yet to see see much of Adam Elliott. I'm looking forward to seeing him in a few weeks. Too. Mate, would you would you think they would play Kalen maybe in the centres if they want to keep Gamble at five eight? Nah, I, I I mean a couple of things. He's trained all off season as a six. He's done no work as a centre, uh, and you've got two centres that are performing. Gags is back to the form of his life, and and we're finally seeing. And touch wood, a uh, Bradman best that can stay on the park and mm. looks dangerous every time he gets the ball. My only issue is, okay, we'll use this week as an example. He plays this week. Andrew Webster, if I'm Andrew Webster, I'm telling my players to run at Kayla. Um, like, it's going to happen regardless. Yeah, without you know? doubt. So, is he going to last? Like, you know, it's a terrible thing for the poor bugger, but I mean, mm. we've got to be realistic here. Is this what's yeah. going to happen? You've got to be realistic, but you also got to trust a couple of things. One is the science and, and what they've worked on, and I, I applaud the club for, for sending Kalen to, to Canada and, and meeting with the professionals he did. Um, Kalen can tackle. He, he just gets in awkward positions sometimes, and no doubt that's something that's spoken about and they're talking about. Um, the, the mail we have is he, he won't be back until after, I think we have Penrith next week, I think the, the week after that. Um and and he'll slot back into the, the six role. Um, I, I, everything that's said inside the club at this stage is look when he's fit and good to go. He's he's not a fourteen. He's not a centre. Um, obviously, Lockie Miller is, is just lights out at fullback at the moment. He, he'll go back to that five outs role, and 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 we're going to trust that they got a couple of things right defensively. And and you know it's going to be tough for him coming back too because he's going to have to be brave. No doubt in the back of his mind are all those head knocks. So um, you go into a little bit concerned, but you, you have to trust. The smarter people than us behind it know what they're doing. But if he gets one or two more head knocks, mate, do you think that's it for him? Oh, it, the, the way concussions are set up now is, is the science. We're learning as we go. So you can't say definitively yes, 
but you can look at other examples um, like Boyd Cordner. Um, Boyd, Boyd was the most competitive back rower I've ever watched, and, and, and that's with, I don't know if he was necessarily the most talented, but he was the most competitive. And to see his career cut short in his mid 20s was, yeah, it was heartbreaking. And I don't know if you've watched the one on ones with him, but, you know, he, he still wakes up with headaches most mm. mornings and, uh, and all kinds of issues. So that's got to be something that comes from Kalen, his family, and, and medical professionals. So, you know, it's very easy for me to say, yeah, one or two more, he's gone. But mm. again, we're learning the science as we go. And, and I really hope there aren't one or two more. I, I hope we can see a, a fit, happy, and firing talent. He's still only 25. Yeah. I reckon the wife the wife must have been a footy player in her day because she tells me every morning she wakes up with a headache. But... <laughs> It's, uh, pardon the pun there, but um, it's a good headache for Adam, o- Adam O'Brien to have, actually. Oh, it went all fit. 100%. Mm. But, um, yeah, it, it's sad that it you know has to go down this way, but it is a good, um, you know, outcome, though it's looking to be have, you know, I just can't, I, I'd hate to be Adam O'Brien in a way because how do you change a winning combination that we've got now. I know you can't have a $1.4 million man on the bench, 100% agree with that, but how do you change that? Hmm. Yeah, oh, I, I, I think you, you really got to back the fact that Tyson Gamble, he's a competitor. He, he knows he went there as a, uh, I won't say a fringe player, but a bloke that would fill in anywhere. You know, hmm. I, I don't know Tyson personally, but I'd be very surprised if his ego gets in the way of, hey, Caleb's coming back, he's fit. We value in this side. We want you in that fourteen role. It's important to us, um, but you won't be starting at five eight. You just uh, you, you said it best. You, you can't have your most talented, best attacking player uh, on the bench or wherever. Your one point four million dollar man. As long as he plays against South, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Just so uh, we, him and Cody Walker, have a uh, gamble, and Walker have a yeah, you know a bit a, of running. Oh, mate. <laughs> mind you, I reckon. A gamble is a fair chance of playing every week if Kalen doesn't learn how to tackle correctly, I guess. Mm. Well, you look at Spud Carroll now too. Spud Carroll's yeah. got in, you know. So, I mean, there's got to you got to weigh those kind of things up too because Kalen's only young, and um, mm-hmm. you know what's uh, best for him in the long run. But hopefully, you know, uh, for Kalen's sake, that this is the last. You know, well, I wouldn't say last because it's probably bound to happen, but it's the last for a long time mm-hmm. anyway. Yep. Luke Carey had a few there um, a couple mm. of years ago, yeah. a successive head knocks, and he's um, since he's come back and wearing headgear, he hasn't had one for a while. So. Yeah, but he hasn't seen to have it on for long. He'll run out with it on, and then he seems to take it off, I've noticed. Mm. Uh, mm. I mean, yeah, Sioni Matoni. Well, I mean, they, don't, they don't protect you from concussion. Nah, it just sort of softens no, it a bit. Soft, yeah, but, yeah, mm. yeah, that's it. But, I mean, having a head like ours, in bloody hell, you need more than a... <laughs> Correct. That's anyway, why, that's why I'm on radio, mate. Head for radio. <laughs> oh, mate. Uh, thanks for joining us again, mate. And uh, yeah, I do believe after in about two weeks' time, it's Cowboys' time. Is it up there? Nights yeah, yeah. Well, um, it's seven thirty on a Saturday night. That one, I think it's oh, something like the twenty first, the twenty second April. I've got it in the calendar, so we'll be calling that one. I'll be working the sideline with with a couple of ex Cowboys legends that, that feed it to me every time. Uh, last time it wasn't a very happy hunting ground. We were up at half time and then fell away in the second half. So uh, it's certainly in the calendar, and I'm, and I'm hoping for a better result. Well, it could be a chance, mate. The night's up there. I mean, the Cowboys are off to a slow start, really, haven't they? Mm. Oh. Yeah, they are. They got a couple of troops back. Um, Drink waters back from this week. Ruben Cotter too, and they'll get Jeremiah and I back uh, in a week or so as well. So uh, we'll see where they're at. I think in a couple of weeks. Well, hey, they pull their finger out their butt because I had them to take the comp. I picked them to take the comp, and I'm looking like a goose at the moment. <laughs> yes, yeah, so did I, and I'm feeling not very intelligent about that. But what do they say? Premierships aren't one in mates, March or April. We'll, um, we'll see where the Broncos have fallen by September, and we'll see where the Cowboys are. Too easy, champion. Thanks for joining us again this week, mate. Pleasure. Anytime. Thanks, champion. Uh, that's uh, Elliot with the rush quarter of our... So we'll take a short message and be back shortly. <laughs> Pernell's Awards and Apparel is your one-stop shop for everything you might need for your business or your sporting club. Have a listen to this. There are corporate awards, cups, trophies, display cases, drinkware, giftware, medals, perpetuals, plaques and shields and even apparel. (sighs) There's so much there. It's great stuff. It's great quality at a great price. Head down to Pernell's in two locations. 
pernells.com.au or email winner at pernells.com.au. All right, guys, now it's time for a new segment. Actually, we'll have a word in the bar. What's the word in the bar tonight, mate? Good you should ask. <laughs> Seen you jumped in and already answered one of them. Oh, sorry. Peter McAllister wouldn't know what the hell's going on with the Tigers, but you were... You want to have a crack at that one first? Well, I look like a goose because I said before any ball was kicked that the Tigers will surprise everyone this year. And, you know. Well, Lappy Coruscant was supposed to be the buyer of the year, but so far it's not looking like that. But mm. We'll have him back. Yeah, I bet you will. We'll have him back too, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to give back Hastings, so. No, no, no. no. We'll, we'll give someone else away instead. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I honestly can't answer that one. I only. Maybe there's some trouble behind closed doors that no one knows about, some issues further. I can say it's fine, mm. but... That's I know the media have been bagging Justin Pascoe. Mm. Oh, uh, mm. There's only so much like a CEO and a, a coach and that can do. End of the day, some of the blame has to go on the, that 17 players on that park leech. So, mm. so um, Unfortunately, it doesn't get... It gets put on the coach and the mm. coach is under, under the pump then, mm. so... Tim Sheens and Benji Marshall, obviously. So. See, the way I look at it, 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 it um, to pull on an NRL jersey and play for a club is an honour. Hmm. So to go out each week, every you know, each weekend and do it for 12 months a year or whatever, mate, I'd be happy to do one game. And, and get paid well. Yeah. You're right. But unfortunately, the players don't see it. I, I don't know why, but mm. they feel entitled and don't. I don't know, not all of them, but but certainly some of them are just happy to go out there and get yeah. their money. See, look, if I could just lace on the boots and play one game, I'd be happy. But, I mean, they're doing it each week. Mm. You, so, hurt, you hurt yourself walking to the fridge. I was about to say, how, happy, harsh. how happy would you be, um, how long would you be happy for? Because I'm sure probably a week, maybe two weeks <laughs> later, you'd still be a bit sore. Yeah, but that well, when he's in hospital. Weeks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I did. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Who shows this? Hang on. <laughs> Last year, they had that uh, McDonald Jones thing in the field in the half time, and I got picked out to go run up the field. And is that a sprint? Yeah, and then you had to. Is get, that what you call you it? Had to eat a had to eat a um, uh, sausage roll and all this. Yeah, I was calling for the. The de- de- yeah, defibrillator after it. So <laughs> the medicap was already out, was it? <laughs> no, I, know, I know in the NFL they got those oxygen masks on standby. Did you need like an oxygen tank or something? Ah, uh, two. You can't have gone too bad though. You won me a new washing machine yeah, and dryer. Washing machine and dryer. Oh, so. that? Yeah. I would have loved to do the oh, kick challenges they used to do at half time. Mm. You know where they used to have one from the sideline, one from in front, and from the. See, other they front. need to get more of this kind of stuff at half time and get the crowd involved. Mm. And nothing against ground announcers too, but. The ground announcers need to go around, get into the crowd, get them yeah. involved. And well, they've had a few on the, on the weekend. Uh, they had, I forget what it was at half time, but they had about five or so people out there. I don't know whether they're kicking footies or what, I forget. But Unfortunately, we were in Sydney and missed that. Mm. Unfortunately? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it was like you got to toss the ball into the bucket. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that well, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah the one I had, had to get in the you bucket. Can yeah. It, yeah. I had to get in a. I had to put a. Um, tool belt on, a pair of boots, a pair of work boots, but when they went down to get my size, they went, no, sorry, so I had to run in socks, and I had to get in a house, and oh, it was eventful, but we do have footage, but it's not going to make the air anymore, but, um, anyway, moving on from that. <laughs> okay, next question, it's a yes and no, and a short answer after it, for each of you. It's in from Billy Kerr, thanks Bill. If there's a draw at the end of 80 minutes... Should each team get a point, then a golden point winner no. gets an extra point. No. So it becomes a three-point game. Wouldn't work. Crazy lady first. You sit there. <laughs> yes or no, and a short reason why. I like the idea because then it's kind of like a participation award. <laughs> Dean. That's me. You're looking after the eels, eh? <laughs> nah, wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. Too many. The points won't add up. Won't work. I understand what you're saying, but wouldn't work. MG? Yeah, no, for me, um, teams already play for two points or one point if there's a draw, but each, but yeah, 
if you if you add an extra point in it, it becomes unfair, I think, for other teams. Ugly. No. Well, can't we just get rid of Golden Point altogether? No. No. No way. No, I like Golden Point. Mm. Yeah, but... Did you not watch the Knights and the Eagles game? No, I was... What do you think when you pulled up, the ha- all these houses up the street have got for sale on? <laughs> I'm just a, a, <laughs> just a traditionalist, mate. I just, I'm just just a traditionalist. Yeah, yeah well, we, we were. Only hope. We were pretty loud. Did you watch the... I mean, that's... I'm say you were nude again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch the Parramatta game? They won by a point. <laughs> but that's the whole uh, point. This, you know, golden <laughs> point. He was referring back to the Penrith and Eels game. That's not cool. <laughs> but, you know, this golden point stuff, it makes, you know, that kind of fun. Like, imagine if it was Panthers, Newcastle, you know, in that kind of thing, golden point. Well, you I would have been out doing uh, the washing. I, I, so I just think you well, personally, you work your backside off for 80 minutes. Hmm. Yeah, you get a draw, you get a point. You yeah. go to golden point, someone wins, and you and right. and, and you come away empty-handed. So should we make a golden try instead of golden point? Mm, that's yeah. not a bad. That, that's that's a, not that's a bad a, thing. So you have to score a try. So, so yeah. that'll that'll stop obviously people going for field goals and mm. whatever else. But what happens if it goes into dark? <laughs> oh no, you still play just five yeah. minutes each way. No, I reckon needs to be at least another ten minutes. I reckon two ten-minute halves. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but you don't you'd, be absolutely, you'd be absolutely wrecked the next week. Oh, yeah. well, maybe well, that's, the way it is. Well, that's, that's football. That's, that's, exactly, that's football. Mm. That's mm. why you have like your extended I mean, thirty men rosters. I'm prepared to go out and play that. You know, eighty minutes plus another half an hour each week for one point six million a year. I'll, I'll put my hand up. I wouldn't be very exciting, yeah, but I'd, I'd do it. I'd be with you there. <laughs> <laughs> good question, though. It was a very, a good, very question. good question. Well, there you go. Why good. don't you make your own the eighteenth team, the Grey Nomads? <laughs> no, we, we don't Can I be captain? <laughs> <laughs> Gary would fall over before he got out. <laughs> we did take the sprigs off. <laughs> I'm not grey yet, so... <laughs> take take the sprigs off so they don't, don't trip over. Sprigs? <laughs> I've heard that since the 60s. Yeah. Okay, the That's third it. one from <laughs> Amos James. Amos? Yeah. What's the rules regarding um, a person getting tackled in the air? Well, if, if they 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 can't get tackled in the air if they're competing for a kick, a bomb. If the ball hits the ground and bounces up in the air and they jump in the air, you can tackle them in the air then. Okay, part two to this question. You know it's come from Parramatta. Mitchell Moses was tackled in the air after he kicked. He goes like this, and like you said, Smitter, the linesman got their eyes painted on. He's gone. Yeah, but in their defence... He was Aaron in the Mata air. players have always got their arms out like this. I was going to say, gonna say <laughs> Moses is a professional winger. So is Gutho. He, you always see oh, him go. Yeah, but yeah, he's, he's either got his hands up winging or doing the Gutho. Uh, yeah, maybe he's doing the Macarena. He hasn't got... <laughs> but why wasn't he... The, yeah, they get the penalty. Yeah. He was, yeah. He's 60 centimetres off the ground. Because yeah. they choose to see what they want to see. What happens if he would have fell back and hit his head and got concussed? Yeah, or... well, that's right. well, of course he wasn't probably hurt. That yeah. Was... But That's having having said that, in the semi final last year down at Penrith, not um, Eels and Penrith, Moses was lucky to be able to see himself walk off that field. Like mm. I was surprised he played the next week. Yeah, he yep. was so wobbly walking off. Everyone was worried about him. Yeah, I, I haven't said except you. <laughs> no, no, we actually were like you know. Stop, yeah, you don't stop, want any stop the bloody bad game. game so you know? Yeah, oh, I didn't want to see him get hurt like that. Just not play for the rest of the year, but. Yeah, you, know, you you don't want to see him physically like in a spot like Kalen now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. yeah. mate, that's a good one. But yeah, yeah. no for me. So keep them coming in. We'll get around to them. All good questions. Nice. All right, we've got a new segment this week, and it's uh, called Ten in the Bin. So when we have a, a guest on or a celebrity, so to speak, like MG, we're going to give him ten ten questions. Um, so. Ten quick questions. So, uh, crazy Sounds lady, good. you want to hit it off? All right. These are not my questions, by the no, way. They were sent in by viewers. Far, far away. Number one, who was your toughest opponent and team? Well, that was difficult because they're all pretty tough. But um, the team that we probably struggled with the most, I think, was probably Canberra. You know, especially in that 90s mm. when they had, well, they won, I think, four comps that year or three comps that year. You know, they had Meninga and Daly and Clyde and... Lazarus and all those sort of players. So, yeah, certainly the Raiders, they were, they were probably the toughest opponents then. 
Um, and what was the other one? The, who the toughest uh, opponent opponent was? Yeah, player. Uh, there's quite a few, but I found Trevor Gilmeister probably the, the Gil. toughest. Mm. Yeah, like he's known as the Axe. The axe and he, yeah. uh, <laughs> I remember he tackled me a couple of times, like and got me pretty good. So. I remember he got the chief mm. in uh, Origin yeah, that time too. Yeah, mm. And I, it, to be able to hit Harrigan like that, mm. you, you're good. Oh, yeah. You Cause he, and he was not real tall, Gilly. But, nah. But, mate, he could tackle. Yeah, a funny bugger too. Yeah. Mm. Number two, what do you think has changed in the game from when you played until now? Quite a lot. Certainly players are a lot bigger than what we used to be. Um, I mean... You know, the halfbacks and the five eights are all six foot one and two <laughs> and a you know, ninety odd kilo. And, you know, a lot of the forwards are six five or, you know, number and, and you know, one hundred and twenty odd kilo. So it was never mm-hmm. happened. You might have had one or two forwards maybe that were around hundred and twenty kilo, but there weren't too many. But now yeah. they're all they're all just massive and and I think the pace of the game as well has sped up. Mm. Um it was it was still quick when we were playing and probably because there wasn't that wrestle and all that stuff going on. Mm. Um, but yeah, like the, with the rule changes and whatever, the game is certainly get a lot quicker. That was a good question. Uh, number three, what was it like playing with the chief? Really good. Um, mm. Chief was, you know, he, he was inspirational and a great captain and a leader. Um, you know, and and. He would lead, and you know that grand final in '97 against Manly. I mean, apparently Mal really said to him, "Mate, you don't get sent off in grand final." So he went out there and just destroyed them early on in that, that half, and and probably set the scene for for the rest of the game. Really, so you know he was he was incredible, and and he you know he didn't didn't say too much, but he led by his actions. So mm. you know, terrific bloke and and a great player. My childhood hero, that's for sure. We'd love to have him on one day, hero. Eh? Oh, mate, be a dream come true. I idolised that bloke when mm. I was... Big Gaz used to take me in all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, meet the chief and... Yeah. yeah, no, he's a good fellow, mate. Absolutely. That's legend. funny because he's on the Good Feet store yes. ad <laughs> and Dean's always complaining of sore feet or a sore back oh, and I'm complain. like, if the chief can go to the Good Feet store, so can you, but he <laughs> refuses to, so... He's yeah. a lakes boy. He's, got, he's, he's a good fella. <laughs> <laughs> Um, number four, who was your most annoying teammate and why? Ooh, there was a few of those. <laughs> um, That's a good question. I'd have to say Matthew Johns, actually. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Like, he was, yeah, just annoying, really, most of the time. Mate, pretty much, yeah, most of the time. He was a funny bugger, but, but, yeah, could annoy you quite a bit. Number five, funniest thing said in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> well, Can't again, a story about Matthew Johns um, When we played down in Canberra one year And it was freezing cold And it was a Friday night game again in the 90s When they had that gun team And Eric Cox, who was the referee supervisor Would come and bang on the door And tell you, you know, you time to come out to play the game And so we were still in there Because it was cold And the heaters were on in the sheds at Canberra So, um Anyway, Eric Cox come and bang on the door and said, Come on, fellas, time to get out there. You won't win it in here. And Matty John said, Yeah, we won't win it out there, either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So nothing's changed. He's still the same, Larrigan. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I mean, they're, they're good to have in your team, aren't they? Mm. Number six, who was your favourite teammate and why? I had plenty of favourite teammates really mm. but but I probably Mick Hagen is still a good mate of mine now mm. and and Hags was always a good mate so definitely Hags and good coach too yeah definitely mm. yeah. Um, seven if you were a coach of a new club coming into the comp who would you who would be the first three players you would pick well that's a tough one difficult mm. but yeah you go I would pick Cameron Munster um so you need a pretty good spine. So you'd, mm. you'd also look at it, you know, the best halfback. If I could get Nathan Cleary, you would get him. Um, and probably, you know, fullback. So um, probably, uh, what's her name, Melbourne fullback. Um, Pappenhausen. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, this little fella here. Yeah. 
<laughs> there goes your salary yeah. cap already. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If I didn't just like jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, number eight. What is your favourite podcast, and why is it night time? It's pretty easy. Night time podcast, and uh, why is it? Because I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, that's I love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was signed by Corey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best and worst teammates you shared a hotel room with? Uh, worst teammate, Tony Butterfield. Uh, with, um, snorer? Snorer would sleep in his undies, which is not a good sight. <laughs> <laughs> um, would smoke as well. I oh, just didn't care. Um, independent. <laughs> I, I, I won't. Wasn't great. Speaking of um, Tony, he's um, Isaac had a baby boy. I did today. I think no, or no, yesterday. Yeah, he's a grandfather. But I love to text Ooh. him and say congratulations. Yeah. Another one I felt too was a very underrated player in his day too. But I think you know. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. definitely he was, mate. He was a tough bugger, but yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. we had um, what's his name. Uh, we had on, oh, I had a memory blank, Mark Tukey. Oh, yeah, yep. On, and he was telling us that Butts was one of the hardest ones he ever played. Yeah. And fair give it to him. Yeah, he was, he was a tough bugger. He originally played at Penrith before he came to the Knights. Yeah, that's mm. right. He was a Penrith junior. Yeah. Was that the number? Number part, 10. That would be a part two. Oh, yeah, the worst. What was the other one? Oh. Yeah. Who's the, the best. Best. Oh, sorry. Best player I've played with, Andrew Johns. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. It goes was, without saying that one. Yeah. yeah without, That's yeah, it, I mean. He was a freak. Mm. You know, love him or hate him, a lot of people don't like him because he was too good. Yeah, that's he exactly. Was, he was brilliant. Like, mm. just could control the game. The stuff he could do was incredible. Oh, Did you oh, ever play with him when he was first coming up or was he pretty yeah, much... Yeah, no, like, when we first... When he, when he made his debut, I was in that. Gaming, could you see, like, when he was a rookie, could you see, like, he had the tools, or do oh, you yeah, reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when he first came in, like, he was talking and you know, directing the team around the paddock then. Yeah. So, well, you could tell um, for the first game, couldn't you? 23 points on debut, yeah, against South, which is, yeah. yeah, against South, so it was, yeah, not a bad debut, really. <laughs> pretty good, but yeah, he, he was just unbelievable the stuff he could do. Mm. I mean, even at training, like, he, he would put the ball where the corner post is and could kick a goal. From there, mm. just just a natural, like just natural. natural. For, yeah. yeah. They say that I feel, you know, a lot of people didn't like because he was so good. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of that now mm. is sort of with Nathan Cleary. He's going that way. A lot of people. Yeah. Mate, I love watching Nathan Cleary play. I mean, you know, to watch the best athletes in our game. I think there's nothing better watching them ply their trade. And mm. you know, someone like a Nathan Cleary is is unbelievable. And how good he is, but how good he will be down the track because he's still only young. That's right. Like, he's got the ball to his feet. Really, if he's this good at this mm. age, mm. he keeps going at it. Like, just, I like the fact too, we're going off there a bit, but, um, you know, like a dropout. Yeah. He will try just boot it across the sideline yep. to mm. get the ball back. Yeah. You know, mix it up. Keep the defence guessing. I, I love it. Yeah, I love Joey it. used to do the same thing, you know, yeah. different things, and he'd try different things and... You know, well, he, was was he the one that off. implemented those real big spiral bombs? Yeah. That, you know, I remember yeah. the day that they played Parramatta and he yeah. putting those bombs up to oh, Shavovsky, yeah, right. mate. Yeah. That poor bugger couldn't yeah. even know where no, they were going. Right. Well, the old banana was, kicks. Yeah. yeah. He was unbelievable yeah. of that. But, you know, like uh, Joey and Matt would practice as kids. Like they, they would go and get the ball and put it in a bucket of soapy water and throw the ball, kick the ball, mm. you know, do all that sort of stuff. Just... <laughs> And mm. the different stuff that shows, you know, yeah. mm. how well it come off. Well, I love the fact that Nathan stayed off TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, next one. Um, number ten, favorite player, or who do you love to watch in the game today? And you probably just answered one of yeah, them. Yeah, look, yeah, without doubt, Nathan. Nathan Cleary. I love Tom and Jake Travoyevich too. I'll give you the twenty bucks when we're done. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, look, he, he's amazing as a player, uh, Nathan Cleary, and. Tom and Jake Trevojevic, I mm. love them too, the way they play. Jake, he's very yeah. underrated. He is. and But, you know, some of the tackles he makes, mm. Um, mm. like he pulled off a great hit on the weekend against, um, I was trying to think, oh, it was um, Matt Croker. 
Like cut him in half. Yes. Like oh, yeah. 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 Cracks went off after that. Yeah, that was yeah. huge. I can't say oh, I blame yeah, him. Yeah, but... to, like, towards the end of the game. Yeah, so he's right. playing like a full 80 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. coming out. Exactly, mate. Right yeah. someone's cage. And, yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't well croaker. No. Nah. No, no, that's right. He struggled. Well, I hope he wore himself out because we've got Manly this weekend. He does a pretty good interview after every time he gets it on, on TV. Oh, he's it's, awesome. It's very like, oh, look, it's all his word is, it's very nice. It's very yes, nice. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, mate. Tom and Jake, they're just great people. Mm. And, you know, I was fortunate enough doing the Triple M call a couple of years ago and Tom was out injured. And so I, I would grabbed him and got him to have an interview on the sideline because he was sitting there. And he then sat with me and I interviewed him again at half time about how the game was going and that sort of thing. So, yeah. mm. But he you know, was quite happy to do it. Mm. Just a, a good fella. See, what I like about him too is, like when you interview him, he's always got praise for your opposition. Mm. Yep. yep. You know, and like if he gets, if they, okay, say they're playing Penrith and they beat Penrith, he's still got something positive to say yeah. about Penrith. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, if they've just given him a hiding. Mm. He'll just give that much, and I mm. think just a, a lot of players out there should take note of, yeah. the, and you know really take a, a look at him. He's yeah. he's one of the players that you want at your club. To, yeah, for, without doubt, for yeah, they're, they're really great fellows, mate. All three of the boys, young kids should take on board too, like um, mm. thanking the other team or giving praise mm. to the oh, other so. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. The younger brother Ben goes all right too, doesn't he? Yeah. He's mm. out injured now. Yeah. yeah. He didn't last long on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Did he hear me? Yeah. That well, seems to be a common thing with them. Well, it is with Tom and, and him because mm. they're quite tall. And mm. So I told you. That's why. I, you pull a hammy going to the toilet. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick on Smith or not. <laughs> but anyway, that's our first uh, instalment of Ten in the Bin. So, um, very yeah. good. That was uh, quite good. Some good questions, and um, it's actually good to sit there and, and drill. Mm. You know, someone like MG who's got a knowledge and a past of the game. So yeah. it's really oh, it's good to hear all the stories too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we might we've got one come up later in the year. We're going to do a Friday night live one. It's yeah, a right. it's a uh, MA rated show, so Is that it? might be time for them ones. Mm-hmm. But, that <laughs> could be good. Some Jeez, stories there. Yeah. Some of Maddie's little uh, pranks as a <laughs> oh, back mate. in the day. <laughs> oh, mate. Some of the stuff they would have got up, it would have been hilarious. <laughs> mm. I, I remember a few stories of uh, big Maddie Parsons used to tell me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Did you ever play with Maddie? Or we... No, I played against Matt, but didn't play with him. Mm. Good basketball player, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was son's a gun. Yeah. Player, Playing yeah. with the uh, Mustangs then. Yep. So, uh, anyway, we'll take a uh, word from our sponsor. Who doesn't love a nice cold beer? And the best cold beer is not some other mob down the road. The best cold beer in Newcastle is found at Thirsty Messiah. The Thirsty Messiah Brewery is found at 140 Lambton Road in Broadmeadow. Get on down there for some great beer at a great price. Support the local. Thirsty Messiah Brewery in Broadmeadow. All right, so uh, might time for Night of the Round. We'll start with you, eh? Um, okay, so my, <laughs> my three go to Dom Young because he scored four tries. He also ran 227 metres um, and he also made the most line breaks at four. Yeah. He's, he's uh, stealing my stuff again. <laughs> he certainly come back with a bang, didn't he? And, um, yeah, made them really open their eyes and say, look at me. So uh, There were a lot of doubters, but, yeah, he proved them wrong. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. My two go to Jack Johns. Um, he's been plagued with injuries. He had a shoulder reconstruction last year, which he had an infection the whole way through it. Mm. Um, so he did well, especially crashing over the line um, for a try in the first half. Mm, true. Yeah, he uh, actually played rather well. Probably the best game he's played for a long time, to be honest. And I know Lockie Miller didn't have the best game, but I gave him one point because he had the most run metres at 282. He only gets one point due to him letting the first Manly try in so easy. Um, And he seemed to have a bit of a quiet game compared to his Mm. usual. It was a quiet one, but I expect him to come out this week Mm. and, you know, bounce back like Dom, you know, did and say, yeah. It was hard to go past Jaden Braley, but... 
Yeah. Yeah, he, do, he does a lot of the, the work unnoticed a lot, but mm. um, anyway, Corey. Oh, I'm going to go my three points are getting to Dom Young, uh, yeah. obvious, obvious reasons over there, because Kylie's been stealing all my material. I actually didn't. <laughs> I printed that off on Monday. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, two points to uh, Greg Marju. I think another mm. solid effort um, out from the back again, and one point to Dane Gagai. He's been in career best form again. Yeah, true. And uh, 200th game, was it? 200th game? 250. 250. So that's a, a pretty big milestone. Mm. Yeah, mm. Well, uh, so good on him. But um, I always like gags, really. Like, yeah. Mm. It seems like he's always wanted to be at the club. Yeah, mate, he's a terrific fella mm. and really fits in. And, you know, I think when he captured him the other week, um, mm. he really led him well. I think they should let him run out. On the weekend, home by himself. Yeah. Because he didn't, like, he got the door to Mudgy, but to run out and have sort of like a, you know, by himself mm. yep. in front of the home crowd, yeah, that's right. you yeah. know, that's something that should be, mm. I feel. But, yeah. Um, MJ, how did you think? Uh, mate, again, yeah, Dom Young was terrific. Um, I, I thought he was really great. Um, Gags, obviously... Mm. You know, I thought he had a terrific game as well, and um, it was toss up. I think Tyson Frizzell, mate, does a lot of unknown work. Hundred you know, percent. Scored a try. He was involved in that great try that Don yeah. Young set up in the end. Like for it, it's gone a hundred meters. Yeah. And, and then Frizz was there to yep. give the ball. That's right. Back to him. Mate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was a terrific play by him. Couldn't agree more. That's uh, my three went to Tyson Frizzell. Yep. Um, Stop cheating, looking at my notes. I've already said mine. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> um, like you said, you know, that try in itself. But um, it just, you know what you're going to get from Tyson each mm-hmm. week. Um, and, yeah, he's, you'd want your car to be as reliable as him. Yeah, wouldn't yeah you? for sure. You know, like, and, you know, I heard in the rumour there a couple of weeks back that, He's off contract. The Knights might and resign him. Well, they'd have to be have rocks in their heads yeah. not to. Uh, and he, mate, he's a good leader as well. So mm. you know he ticks all the boxes for for me. I I'd be surprised if the Knights wouldn't keep him. Hundred percent. And he wants to be here. I do miss him at the Dragons, but mm. he no, had to, he had to go. So well, that's the thing too. Like he loves it in Newcastle. Mm, loves yeah. the club. Yeah. So there's. Your, your box is ticked already. Mm. As someone that wants to be here and play for that yeah, jersey, not right. just the paycheck. That's right. Uh, anyway, it was hard between him and Dom, but he got it, and then mm. Dom Young. Yep. Um, and then a lot of people will probably disagree, but I give it to Leo Thompson. <laughs> I've, mm. I'll stop it. I think he just doesn't stop trying. Mm. And really, well, he's only young. How old is he? Probably, oh, he's in his early 20s, mm, isn't he? Yeah. So. so he's still only a pup. And um, to step in those shoes of um, mm. claiming he's that he's filling the void, isn't he? Because he was think. he was on the edge. Mm. Now he's up in the middle, yeah. so yeah. he's yeah. And that still go back that hit he did it on the Tigers. Was it on Luke Brooks? Yeah, yeah. Might yeah have been, he's still yeah. he's still recovering. Yeah, from that. <laughs> but now I that's the you know I like to see players like that. I like the players that don't get the a lot of the recognition that should have. Yep. Um, but yeah. So who we reckon? Jono. Oh, thanks for including me. Um, over here sitting with Gary. <laughs> I've got Dom Young, three points, even though he's leaving at the end of the year. You can't put it past what he did. Mm. This, especially that solo, or it wasn't a solo try, but all that running for that try. Mm. Two points went to Dan Gagai. Awesome game, scored a try, did he, I believe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the corner. And 250th game in the NRL, that's... Mm. A lot of games are nothing. Great accomplishment. And one point went to Jack Johns. Had a yes. solid game, and I loved the jersey swap at the end. That was my mm. special mention, actually, was yeah. Johns. Oh, it's the best game I've seen him play. And, you know, a credit to him for coming back from that yep. infection and that. Yeah, and scored a try, and, mm. yeah, he was good. So that's a good thing. You know, we're in good shape for that. Sorry, guys. We're back here. <laughs> Pretty much the same as the rest of the guys. I had Dane Gagai for three. Mm-hmm. Jack Johns for two, and sorry, Dom Young for three. Jack Johns for two, and Dane Gagai for one. Fair enough. So who are we? Who's our night of the round? Looks like Dom. Dom Young. Dom Young, Dom Young takes it out this way. So uh, yeah, that was uh, 
Yeah, we don't mind. I reckon if he scores four tries every week. While he's playing with us, yeah. 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 <laughs> Except in two weeks' time, thanks. No, yeah. no, nah, nah, he can score eight <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, no. But um, i tell you what, that would have been, unfortunately we're at a wedding, but one of us is going to be pulling our hair out. That, that I wanted to see Gamble and Luai mouth off at each other. Oh, I oh know, that'd be worth it. I'll be yeah. at the wedding on the <laughs> phone. Is there going to be a yell. bet on this year, you guys, like you yeah, did last we'll year? Yeah, we'll put a bet on. Yeah? Yeah, we'll put a bet on. Make it decent. Yeah, no, we'll pink hair. Make it Can decent. I shave his eyebrows off? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a start. Mm. No, but what about... Not growing <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> no, but there's Give two games... Give him a reverse this... mail. <laughs> oh, who saw it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but isn't there two games? Don't they play each other yeah. twice this year? So yeah, we're going to have just have one big bet rather than two small no, bets? No, well, two big bets. Yeah, two bets. Yeah, double yeah. or nothing. Yeah, because it can be double yeah. or nothing then. Mm. So we'll throw it out there. What's, what's the bet if I win? Or when I win? What's she going to do? Mm. So, uh, we're actually... Well, she should. She got to wear a night's jumper. Yes. All week or to everywhere she goes. I like it. Nobody needs to know that I don't work with anyone. I, you know, I'm in an office by myself. Yeah, but you still got to get there, and then you got to go to Coles. Yeah, and you got to wear it shopping. And I wear a jacket. No, I think, no, I think there'll be, there'll be cameras here. I'm me, sure uh, Spinner's got a couple of scarves floating around it. somewhere in the house. And, and <laughs> if it is cold, then. You've got to wear a night's nice jacket over the top of the night's nice jacket. <laughs> Since we're mm, getting the bus like down to the Penrith game, should it be the loser has to wear the opposite jersey to the Penrith game? Yep, See, I, I believe that that's a that's a that's bad juju. For who? If if because Penrith will lose if I'm wearing a night's nice jersey. Well, wear two of them. I will throw it out there, but we'll do something um, because we like a, a little bit of a challenge and. Mm. We are heading down to uh, Penrith on the bus, so um, Krispy Kreme Donuts, here we come. Mm. And, uh, yeah. All right, let's keep getting into it. And uh, what caught my eye for this week? I'll start off. WrestleMania. <laughs> uh, was it 32? Was that what it was? WrestleMania 32? Yeah, I'm not sure. 39. I was 39, something like that. I'm not a big wrestling fan, but I did see some larrikin in the crowd with a big Go Night sign. You know, mm. the ones you get... They hand out at the game, yeah. and they pull them out. Had a night sign. We'll throw it up there. I thought that was gold. All the way over in... Uh, in the States, was it? In the, in the States, States, yeah. yeah. Anyone wonder who it was. So if anyone knows of that person, who that was... Mm, get them on. Yeah. Let's get them on. Mm. Uh, but there was another larrikin too. I think they must have got paid for this. So in the crowd later on, they had the West Tigers jersey on. <laughs> There was yeah. also one with Souths as well. Yeah, there's Souths Yeah, but everywhere. that random South. Everywhere there's, there's a random, random South. South well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, if anyone knows who that guy was with the Knights thing. His name's Will something. I saw him comment on one of the sides. Oh, was it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, we'll find out who it is and we'll get him on because yeah, that was cold. Will Smith, wasn't it? Yeah, it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> was he slapping? <laughs> I'll find it. Oh, right, what, your turn. Uh, all right, so in the Manly and Knights game... Um, in Golden Point, I don't understand why DCE had plenty of chances yep. to kick a three field goal. Three or three. Yeah, but he didn't. He decided not to for whatever reason. I reckon his money might have been on the well, night. Well, or on a draw. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, but I guess we can't insinuate that. Yeah, but um, so weird though. But yeah, look, it was it was strange that he didn't go for it. Mm. Mm. I thought he would have stuck his neck out and had a shot. See, if it was, if it was <laughs> anyone else, like Nico Hines or, or Nathan Cleary, I reckon they would have nailed it. Curly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, like one of the first opportunity they get, they mm. crack it. Yeah. Mm. Gary? I think, like they were suggesting, that DC might have uh, had a, uh, a draw and probably picked the 31 all. 32 all. 32 all, sorry. So he could go in the draw. For our fridge. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to win the night's fridge. Oh, of course. The night's fridge. <laughs> That's what it was. There you go. That's what I think it might have been. Oh, <laughs> you're onto something, guys. Yeah. You're a smart man. Uh, <laughs> MG, uh, what caught your eye on the weekend? Uh, just trying to think now. You put him, him on the spot. Oh, yeah, I did, eh? Um, well, yeah, Dom, that, that try that Dom Young scored. Mm, can't get past that. Uh, you know, he's run almost 100, well, 100 metres. It's probably more by the time he sort of got there and over the line. But, yeah, that was fantastic. And, and the way he set that up uh, and the pace he showed was terrific. I mean, it will be sad to see him go. 
Uh, yeah, look, we'll miss him. It's disappointing the Roosters have got him and supposedly for less money than we offered him. Yeah. It's amazing <laughs> how they do that, but anyway. <laughs> apparently the sandwiches are good down there. Yeah, yeah, must be. Mm. Must They're be. coming good brown paper That's bags, right. apparently. That's but right. But you've got to ask yourself, while we're on the Roosters there, I'll just change a bit, but now they're even taking our girls. Yeah. Millie yeah, Boyle. Yep, yep. Is that, is that she gone? She yeah, gone. Bobby she Law's gone. gone. Bobby Law, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's four of them and gone. And uh, Emma Manzerman's now and in look, Cowboys. You know, while well, they you say our, our girls, but they've come from Brisbane and the yeah, and, and wherever. So, and to be honest, and you can't blame the girls, they're chasing money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. Well, that's and right. Clubs are offering more money. So I just thought our club might have done them. a little bit more to try to keep because I yeah, just don't see. Oh, I know we're keeping. Um, what's her name at fullback to make her up to him. make her up then. Yeah. But apart from that, I haven't heard anything because no. their value's gone up. They've won a premiership. Yeah, but that's fine. But what are we? Who are we signing? Or who are we? Yeah. You know, I'm I'm happy. Like not happy because I thought Millie was a great player. But with our our forwards, we're going to keep in uh, Johnson and. Mm. Um, yeah, oh, that girl. Johnson's still there. And, Caitlin, um, oh, um, not Tammy Predeborn? Predeborn, yeah. was that the... Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, they're guns, so... Yeah. But, yeah. Elsie Bruce. Albert's off contract. <laughs> I know you like her. Oh, Elsie. <laughs> Elsie is a legend. Absolute <laughs> legend, I tell you, you what. You can call me what you want. Aren't you mad? I'll run out. I don't, I don't she know if it's the same she effect, is. but I'll try. She is. She's a, she's a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyway. Uh, Corey. Oh, I, I got the, the, the hip drop tackles this week. Yes. Do you think they were warranted, the no. suspension? I don't know about suspension. Maybe a fine, but, I mean... Yeah. No, you got to try and cut them out, mate. They're, yeah. They're, they're a dangerous tackle. True. Really. So, and, you know, if a player gets injured from it, then, you know, they're a chance to be out for quite a number yeah, of Yeah, and weeks. then they'll go, well, yeah, what in? Yeah, yeah, good point. <coughs> good point. I'll, t- I'll take that one. Uh, Gary, did you have your glasses on? <laughs> mine was already uh, that Amos James done mine was the Mitchell Moses being in the air no no you were going to say Ricky Stewart and Jamin Salmon were you no <laughs> yeah that was a good one yeah. <laughs> that was good actually yeah I mean people going oh they just need to let it go there was nothing in that that was just a little bit of banner you know? no no no. that wasn't your what caught my eye was it no see the thing is Jamin Salmon Everybody has been calling him a weak gutter dog. Mm. Not just Ricky Stewart, but everybody. So he looked at the crowd and and mouthed the words weak gutter dog, probably because he was just sick of people yeah. giving him a hard time for six months. I liked what Ivan Cleary said after the game. Yeah. Well, yeah. Karma. Karma. Mm. I was going to say, was he pointing at the scoreboard like he did one time before? <laughs> waving to the <laughs> crowd. Oh, and blew a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there was something else that caught my eye too. What was it? What the- me. Co- yeah, oh, obviously. Corey Horsburgh, what did you do the other night? I was He's just always cranky. Yeah, he did something <laughs> the other night. He's a dirty player. Yeah. Old Garfield, we've nicknamed him. Big Garfield. ginger cat. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, did he get anyway. sent off? No, I can't remember what he did. We're watching it. and mm. oh, okay. I was talking to you about it. But anyway, Jono. Mine was the classy jersey exchange between the Johns boys yeah. and having Matthew and Trish there was pretty awesome. Hundred yeah. percent. That's that's like uh, there's a massive thing over in the NFL where they do in basketball, but because they've got personalised numbers and all that, but yeah. I think the NRL should try and do something like that or encourage players to do a jersey swap. I think Origin they might have done it. These guys might even got the, these guys might even get the chance to play each other again. Mm. No, no, that's, that's right. And yeah. to be a brother, that would be something that. You know, it would just be so special to mm, yeah. be able to hear your brother. Like oh. Maddie and Andrew when they I played. I mean, the Knights probably charged Jack for, for doing it. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> even swapping, like, say, someone's spent, like, their whole time in a club and or even your idol, like, growing mm. up, that kid that played with Clemmer. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Was or, like, even if they were playing against each other, just swapping. Uh, another one I've seen this week. Josh uh, Reynolds and Jacob Carras. That's yeah. the one. Uh, yeah, yeah, but no, I like that too. I reckon jersey swapping is the way to go. Um, so if you're listening, uh, Tyson Gamble or um, Leo Thompson, jersey swap to Smith. Thank you very much. <laughs> they, they did it a lot in the world at the end of the World Cup too. Yeah, no, it's good, but it's good too. Like, I've seen a few of them. You know, they give to young fans and old fans like myself, but that's priceless to a lot of people too. You know, like. You know, I'm not a fan of the ones like we said before. If they get them and sell them, I think that's 
and go, bullshit. But, you know, the fans that actually are big supporters yeah. and a lot of frame them and hang them up. I mean, that, Is that why you hold up signs at the game? Can I please have your jersey and I'll wash your car? No, I give it to the kids. Can I have your jersey? <laughs> Thanks, kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, I've got Clems and, you know, Sionis and all my favourite players and Mm-hmm. They'll be framed and that will never leave our house. It would have been hard for Matty to watch that game considering he's Newcastle through and through to see his other boy playing for Manly too. Yeah. Like yeah, it just brings out that. It was on uh, Fox and that they were saying, that, you know, how, how are you going to do this one? He said, oh, I'll be going for Jack Bugger Cooper. He'll be right. <laughs> 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 so I sort of, I get the feeling that Cooper's the larrikin of the two brothers. Yeah, yeah. Sort of took Matty's yeah. and. Um, like the old uh, stitch up he did where yeah, he asked oh, about. Yeah, yeah. Cooper's got a bit of that in. Oh, and so is Jack. Yeah. yeah. I like the part where he stitched him up where he ring him and saying, Dad, everyone's saying Kurt Gidley's my father. What's going on there? <laughs> 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 oh, that was gold. Poor Matty. But yeah. anyway, we might uh, yeah have a, have a quick chat from our sponsors. Palmy or Palmer, it doesn't matter where you're from. The best schnitzels in town are just around the corner at Harry's, where they cook chicken the way nature intended, flattened, crumbed and golden. Nothing beats a good schnitzel. There are burgers, there's chips, there's all sorts of wonderful food there to be had. Grab yourself a Harry's loyalty card, get on down and enjoy some of the best chicken you'll ever have. It's really good schnitz. Get on to Harry's at the Junction, Jesmond, Market Town, Thornton, Erina and Toronto. It is Sasquatch approved. It is nighttime time Podcast approved. Harry Schnitzel's the best in town. All right, guys, in time for a bit of humour tonight. So, got some jokes for us? Mm-hmm. I'll start off with a dad joke. Oh, mate, I've got heaps of them, mate. So you should all laugh because it's a dad joke. I had a vasectomy because I didn't want any kids. When I got home, they were still there. <laughs> <laughs> One day the teacher asked the children in class to give examples of what was not good to put in one's mouth. Little Johnny says, It is not good to put a lit light bulb in one's mouth. The teacher said, That is correct, but why? Little Johnny answers, I don't know, but my mum always tells my dad, Turn off the light before you put it in my mouth. Little Johnny jokes are the best part. Yeah. Um... Two old guys are pushing their carts around Costco when they collide. The first old guy says to the second guy, Sorry about that. I'm looking for my wife, and I guess I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. The second old guy says, That's okay. It's a coincidence. I'm looking for my wife too. I can't find her, and I'm getting a little desperate. The first old guy says, Well, maybe I can help you find her. What does she look like? The second old guy says, Well, she's 27 years old. Tall, with red hair, blue eyes, long legs, and is wearing short shorts. What does your wife look like? To which the first old guy says, doesn't matter, let's look for yours. (laughs) 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 I've got some dad jokes, but I'll do them after the show, so keep keep watching for the outtakes. We'll put them on there. One more? Because they're rippers, I tell you. You want another dad joke? Encore, encore. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you one more you find it. What do you call an old person with really good hearing? Gary? Deaf defying. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the rest of them after this on the outtakes. All right. This one's probably, everybody's probably heard this, but I'll say it anyway. I took my eight year old daughter to the office on Take Your Kid to Work Day. But when we walked into the office, she started to cry. As concerned staff gathered round, I asked her what was wrong, and she said, Daddy, where are all the clowns you said you work with? (laughs) (laughs) That's my favourite one. That's the best one. Wow, awesome. So that's you for this week, is it? Yep. Are you going to sit in the bar? Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, yeah, don't forget, are we going to do that? Are we going to do MGs uh, if you lose? I reckon. Got Maybe. To wear, got to wear a Knights nice jersey. I reckon, the to week. The ga- I reckon to the game's enough. No. no I reckon the whole week. Whole week. Whole week. Mm. Yeah. All those in favour? 
Hang on, we'll, right. we'll see what people send in first. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll just get to the emails and get rid of them. Yeah. Also. <laughs> yeah. More than those. <laughs> but if you lose... Well, I can't wear one to work because I've got to wear high vis. So. Excuses, excuses. Oh, no, I'm prepared. Can you, can you, is there a, can you get a high vis uh, jumping in? Mining or, round? Or, 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 <laughs> or what about when you finish work, as you're leaving, it gets put on. You yeah, wear it. Problem is, he comes straight home. Doesn't matter. You want to take him shopping. He's down to Coles, down to the yeah. Harry's. I'll, I'll, I'll honour myself because I'm confident that we're going to rattle you this year. Oh, I'm confident, but I'm, I want to think of something that that's going to get you. Well, that's round one. Right. What about round two? Well, maybe you've got to wear a skirt. MG. And stand up for the, stand up for the podcast. I think you look. I've actually got a I've actually got a photo of him dressed as a woman. Wait, really? At Dale and Danny's. Oh, I was a cross dressing party kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, you had a black wig on Likely and everything. Story. No, that wouldn't yeah. think I'm Corey. I, it was smiling a lot. I think he enjoyed it. All right. Well, send it in what you think, but I'm I'm on the. Uh, I reckon round one should be that, but we can always incorporate a second part to it as well. But. Um, yeah, I'm... Uh, Leave it with me. All right, watch your space. All right, we'll uh, take another short break and be back shortly. When you think of great food at a great price, the best cold beer in town, awesome live music, even a place that you can host your next event, there is only one place you think of, and that is the Gallipoli Club. Get on down to the Gallipoli Club, the Gal 3 to 5 Beaumont Street, Hamilton, to check out what's going on this week. Enjoy some great food, a cold beer, awesome live entertainment. You can never go wrong at the Gal, thegal.com.au. Yeah, welcome back, guys, and it's time for Around the Grounds. Uh, Before we start Around the Grounds, what's the drink of the week, Gary? Green Matriarch. Vodka. Get into it. It's good. We all like it here. Try it. You'll like it. Green Matriarch. Look for it. If you don't like it, keep drinking, because you will. Uh, But most importantly, drink responsibly. True. Mm. Yeah. Uh, They're probably all drinking it while they're watching the show. Oh, that's true. It probably makes the show go better. (laughs) But anyway, uh, we'll jump into Around the Grounds and we'll have a, we've got into the Knights a fair bit. We'll, we'll quickly get into that a little bit there. Knights 32, Manly 32, obviously. I, I tipped Manly and I thought the Knights were robbed, to be honest. Yeah, the, yeah, the one with Bretman Best. That try was, uh, yeah, that was mate, just I, disgusting. I thought it was a pretty ordinary call. Like uh, Adam O'Brien said, though, what was it? Looking for flies on. Picking yeah. fly, poo out of pepper? Yeah. You know, that was a, that was a good call. That was a, but um, I'd like to see Adam O'Brien, but really, you know, sort of question the referees when they're so wrong like that. I know that you can only do a yeah, certain it's, extent, it's but difficult. But mm, yeah, I just yeah, that was that was a hard one to swallow for me. But yeah, at least we got a point. Well, that's right, and we're getting better and better. Um, but yeah, we really got into that earlier, so we'll might move on to the next one, but. Uh, yeah, um, can't wait to, to see what we produce this week mm. with um, against the Warriors. Um, yeah, Bulldogs fifteen. This is no in no order either. I've muddled them up, but uh, the Bulldogs fifteen over the Cowboys fourteen. So I said the Cowboys. Mm, so did I. Yeah, so yeah did well I. they're struggling a bit. The Cowboys. They're off to a slow start this year, and uh, well, it's great to see the Dogs starting to hit form. You got eleven yeah. players out this week. 11. 11. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, suck it up. We went, I oh, know we didn't have 11, but we had, what did we have uh, oh, against uh, a couple of weeks back? We had, what, four, five, six out yeah, or something uh, like that? So. It was a great field goal from Matt Burton out in touch there. Yeah. 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 A good kicker, eh? Yeah, well, good and then ball. even the one that he missed when they went to 14 all and they hit the bar, it reminded me of the 2015 grand final yeah, when yeah. Thurston hit the bar and then yeah. they kicked the field goal. Do you think you'll end up seeing him in the NFL? Matt Burden? Mm. Oh. Apparently they're already talking to him. Well, so. I mean, I Some of those bombs, you wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't want to catch them. No. I'd, 
Or I can give him a couple more years at the doggies, and maybe when his contract's mm. up, he comes the NFL. Yep. Go get that money. The NFL when he's about 28 or 30. Mm. Can't mm. blame him. Like, the amount of money they're going to probably throw at him. Especially for a specialist kicker. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the way he kicks, you'd hate to be his dog, wouldn't you? Anyway. I <laughs> know, oh, I've got to get new content. <laughs> Anyway, the Warriors 32 over the Sharks 30. I tell you what, I was only saying to the crazy lady before this, I said, I'm going to take the Warriors. You know, I said, they, they, they're bound to come for an upset today, I reckon. I went, oh, no, I'll play it safe. <laughs> yeah. As I alluded to the was week this, before, mm. the resilience of those Warriors, they're, they're, yeah, they're mate, showing he's something. Going good, haven't yeah. You? So I haven't really known too much about um, Webster, the coach. Mm. Um, obviously, crazy lady knows more. We've been her old club, yep. but I tell you what, they've got some. Did yeah, he? They're pretty impressive. Did he deputise at the Tigers for yeah, a little while? He did. Yeah. yeah, for a little while. For a while, yeah. yeah. Yep. They were in between coaches. That's and, right. Yeah. When Cleary was yeah. going to yep. Penrith, That's there. Right. Yep. yep. But it just shows. I, I think the Panthers got such a good uh, structure there. Yeah. No matter who you are. You were gonna, you know, everyone seems to learn and perform and yep. come out better. Mm. I hope it never happens because I, you know, personal friend of ours too. But Brody Jones, I reckon if he was down with Ivan, I reckon mm. he would become such a better player. Yeah, well, likewise, you know, players that go to Melbourne, mm. yep. Kingy, Kingy, yep. yeah, mm. yeah. Was yeah. this the upset of the round, or was that um, Pugsley's team down the end? Oh, I'd have to go the drag queens, I think. Mm. But yeah, no, good on the the Warriors, and um, yeah, I was. I missed the first bit of this game, and apparently it was like a training run. But yeah, it was twenty nil pretty much before you can blink. And then they come out and pull the pants down. Yeah, and mm. so, uh, I'd similar to the Knights, the Warriors in old times would have just rolled over and let them mm. win. But and Dale Finucane was placed on report, and Simbin. Late um, for his hip drop on and suspended Boston. for three yeah, weeks. Got three yeah. weeks for that. I got three. Yeah. Did anyone else besides me pick the one? Uh, no, I was going to, but mm. there's probably <laughs> a few in uh, New Zealand that did. Yes. <laughs> did anyone see Sean Johnson's interview after the game? No, I missed it. Did, did, uh, oh, it was it was candid. It was fantastic. Just you know, they had a joke at half time. Said, "Oh, we can do this, man." You know what I mean? Didn't think they can do it, and they just did it. Mm. You know. Well, that's why you play the full 80 minutes. Mm. Mm. Uh, Broncos, 46 over the Tigers, 12. Um, yeah, they've got massive problems, the Tigers. Mm. Well, this is a question. Will the Tigers win a game this year? I reckon they will. Yes. The bye. No. Nope. Actually, Tim, actually, Tim Sheen's laughed. He said that um, we don't know if we can even beat, beat the bye the way <laughs> yeah. we're playing at the moment. Pretty bad when your coach comes out yeah. and says that. Yeah. But, but, you know, it's great to see Kevin Wilders just turn the Broncos around. And, oh. and he was under the fire there a bit. Last year or the year before when he took over, and um, but yeah, mate, they're the under real deal, year, aren't they? It's only early, but so yeah, I'm good? impressed. Yes, I tell you, I am really impressed with. I'll tell you what, he's I wouldn't say surprised, but you know, really stepped up again. Is that Jordan Ricky? Mm. Very under, oh, he had a couple of meat pies on the yeah. weekend, yeah, for his 50th game. Um, his mum presented him his jersey yeah. and come out and got nice. two tries, so yeah. And um, really nice guy too. Yeah. Uh, actually, our son was at uh, when they played down here last year. Mm. Was out at uh, one of the clubs in town after the game, and it was him and uh, Cambridge, I think. At the Cambridge, him and a couple others yeah. were there, and just mind their own business, just having a couple of drinks, and bought the son and that a few drinks, and just having a good chat Sorry. with him. So there was no, you know, you always hear a lot of well you know a lot of negative yeah, about stories, it yeah. but you don't hear the good no that's no. right and you get publicised mate yeah and this Jordan Ricky and uh, wow Tony Staggs Stags. Tony Staggs yeah. uh, Payne Huss was another one yeah. and they were just sitting there drinking with the son and his mates and you know bought them a few beers and Ta- they were just really nice guys so talking, good talking, on them. talking about Katoni I know he, he probably won't get in and he's a New South Welshman but the way he's playing he'd be definitely pushing for an yeah, origin spot yeah yeah, I'd have him. Mm. You, you know, you, I think he was unlucky last year not to get the spot. But I mean, it'd you, be crazy not to put him in if he's going to play that well. Yeah. So um, we have got good depth. Yeah, that's right. Uh, anyway, the, here we go. The drag queens, thirty-eight over the dolphins, twelve. Oh. I will admit the Dragons did outplay the Dolphins. The Dolphins did play like hot garbage. Mm. <laughs> hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. Yeah, but old. 
What's his name? Come back. Uh, the bed sheet. What's his name? Jack the bed sheet. Jack, Jack the bed sheet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he back, He's still uh, hiding under there, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it was in the cupboard, wasn't it? That yeah. has to be the oh, most. under the bed. He's under yeah, the bed. Under yeah. the bed. Oh, was... Old the bed sheet. That has to be the most expensive barbecue. That yeah, um, it cost him a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. That old mate put on. What's his name? Paul uh, Vaughan. Paul Vaughan. Yeah. He's over, is he over in Warrington, over in, yeah. Yeah. and killing it over there too. Yeah, While we're talking about that, I see uh, Jesse Sue's killing her over there yeah. too. Yeah, he's going okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolute Can legend that guy. She's a zippet woman. <laughs> absolute legend <laughs> was one of my uh, favourites. Uh, keep in contact. It was a much. Yeah, it, it was a much needed win. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's off to uh, off to you. Sir. Roosters twenty eight over the Eels twenty. Tip the Roosters. Oh, very yeah. happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh Tedesco, who's HIA. So let's see Nothing, that for a nothing minimum, in that at all. Minimum two games, or is he only out for the one? Sorry, two, I think. Yeah, eleven days. 11 days. Mm. Yeah. I thought you meant. Um, but Simonson, I think he got two weeks. Two weeks. I think for oh, that. So that means um, Tyson Gamble will be out for next week too, won't it? Yeah, it's eleven days. Eleven today. days. Yeah. It's just well, depending on when oh, no, they depending on. on when they play they again. Play yeah. It's Saturday, yeah. It's a Saturday game. Mm. So, so he'll, no, be he'll be right. in. Yeah, he'll be right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ah, sweet. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, but that does was... that? But does that off topic for a second? Does that open the door for KP to come back in? Well, I was, was it if still a few more weeks off, isn't it? Yeah, mm. possibly. Depending on what the doctors. Say so, hmm. I'd say you know, another probably two weeks and he'll be back in. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, Gamble has to play against two teams, mm-hmm. South and Penrith. Yeah, because their mission prize in itself will be <laughs> just to see them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Raiders uh, sort of put put in a good performance in the first half, and then yes. Penrith went in and had their oak milk and come back out and. Put, yeah, 53 to 12. Yeah, pull them off the paddock. So, mm. mate, Ricky's got a few issues down there, I think. It's They're good to see. They've only won the one game, haven't yep. they, this year? Yep. Ooh. It's good to see Jared Croker back in the squad this week. I, um, yeah. I know he, he's been you know, struggling with a lot with injuries in the past lately, and he needs another six more games to crack the 300. Mm. So, I hope he gets there. Cause yeah, let's I, hope so. He's true. Yeah. Great player and yep. a, a really good fella. Mm. Yeah, I'm so. I can't remember what it was that um, Allsborough did in this game. I don't know, but I feel like the Knights softened the Raiders for us, and I'm hoping they did the same with Manly. I think they did. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what he did, but there was another incident in there, and we were talking about it, but I should have wrote it down. It will come to you later. Yeah, no doubt it will. Anyway, uh, Melbourne, 18 over South's 10. Um, they not, do continue, mate. So yeah. See how Spokey team is Melbourne. And yeah. Mm. Yeah. Josh King, really impressive. Yeah, mate, King he's, been, he's a great player, King. Was he, it, he was, it was terrific here, and mate, he's doing a great job down in Melbourne. Another one that we let slip through. Yep, Another it was a good. Of dust. W- was a good workmanlike performance by Melbourne because they've really been defensively <laughs> poor for yeah. two weeks. Yeah, they have. Mm. and yeah, so they did have a lot. It was a few try saving tackles on their line, mm. and I thought they were back to their best. Yeah. Oh, well, that was last week's Around the Grounds anyway. So, um, yeah, some exciting football coming up this week as we'll get in there. But uh, time for you to take off, mate, is it? Yeah, mate. So uh, we appreciate you coming in again. No, nah, been very good. So let's hope for a night's victory this weekend but, yeah. against the Warriors. If you can't get to the game, um, join the Triple N call team. Yeah, you can hear it on uh, Triple N. That's the way to go. So uh, even if you can watch the TV, turn the TV down and put the radio on. Watch <laughs> the game. We used to do that a lot too. We used to, when Gaza was calling Gary Harley too, yeah. would uh, turn the TV down and put the radio he on. Was, he was always the best to listen to. Yeah, Gazi was mm. well, Especially oh. that 97 grand final. Oh, spur like yeah. a bag at the end. Lost his voice at the end. Oh, <laughs> mate. Absolutely loved the nights. You know, so we might even try to get Gaz on soon. Why not? It would be a... Be one of the weeks where we can get you in so you can that'd be good. catch up with him. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, guys, we'll take a uh, short break and we'll be back shortly. Are you looking for something a little bit different, perhaps? Something a little bit out of the ordinary? Head down to the liquidators, Raymond Terrace. 
Liquidators is a discount variety store. They specialize in all sorts of different home decor items, candles, even hardware. There's costumes and wigs for that fancy dress party. There's art, all sorts of things that are a little bit different. Liquidators Raymond Terrace. That's 34 William Street in Raymond Terrace. All right, guys, and it's that time of night. We'll uh, do the team list for this week. So, um, yeah, I was not prepared. I was, but I changed it all up. Would, you, you got yours there? Yes, sir. Would you like me to kick off the worries while you're looking for your... Here we go, John. I will share, mate. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sharing, um, scaring. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll do the Knights, you do the Warriors. So. Sure. All right. Uh, fullback, Lockie Miller. Uh, Dom Young retains his spot um, on the wing. Dane Gay Guy and Bradman Best in the centres. Bradman's starting to play some really good football. Awesome footy. And, um, yeah, really. But I think he needs to sort of, if, if you can say, maybe uh, – not being so ill selfish, well, a few times I thought he could have took the ball himself and scored, and he's offloaded it or whatever. Yeah. Um, Marju speaks for himself. This is my only real issue I have. Number six, Phoenix Croslin. We'll come back to that. But uh, seven, Jackson Hastings, Daniel Saifidi, and Leah Thompson in the engine room. Jaden Braley at hooker. Tyson Frizzell, Lockie Fitz, and Jack Johns. Interchange is number 14, Kurt Mann, Jack Heverington, Matt Crocker, and Brody Jones. I have an issue at six. No disrespect to Phoenix, but he is not the six we need against the Warriors. Mm. Why you would have Kurt Mann on the bench and not playing six is beyond me. I just think... Maybe Phoenix would have been more suited at 14. Mm, that's what I reckon. And Kurt should be at six. Because let's face it, uh, Pong is still a couple of weeks off, they say. Yep. Uh, Tyson Gamble will be eligible to play next week. So no matter who's in six, he's not going to be there next week. Also, Adam Clunes, another one that you wouldn't want to pick, but he's, as a backup, he's injured as well. So mm. there's, there's the depth's tested in that area at the present time. Yeah, I just, I mean, the bench is pretty good, except maybe they're just, yeah, I just don't see that combination working of the six and seven. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would like, yeah, I would like to see Kirk Mann giving a crack at number six and mm. see. I see. wouldn't be surprised just before kickoff that there's a, there's a late change. Mm. Could be. I would. That's my opinion. But uh, the Raiders. The Warriors. Warriors, That's sorry. right. Uh, number one is Chance Nickel Clockstad, and I understand why you probably said Canberra because he used to play for him. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> I just, yeah. uh, the wingers are Edward Casey and Marcella Montoya. In the centres are Vili Mai Valia and Adam Pompey. 5'8", to Murray Martin returns. Uh, Sean Johnson at halfback. In the engine room, we've got Aidan Fanua blake Bunty Afawa. The hooker is Wade Egan. And second rows are Jackson Ford and Bailey Sirenson. Tahu Harris returns from injury this week as well. And on the interchange bench, Dylan Walker, who's actually been playing some pretty good yeah, footy for the Warriors. The best he's played for a long, long That's time. That's right. Uh, Josh Curran, who gives it 100%. Mm. Jace Tavaga and Tom Alley. Josh Curran has to be up in my top five underrated players of the competition. I reckon. I reckon he's the main reason why they won that game on the weekend. Mm. He's got to be up there with, and I'll say this too, um, big congratulations to the Penrith side for... Wrapping him up, but Moses Leota. Yep. Yes. He is in the same bracket as him. Moses Leota is okay. We'll go back to that. Um, when we're asking MG three players that you would pick. Okay, you've picked your three. Now you start in your engine room. He has to be one of the first you pick as well, or mm. considered Moses Leota. Hasn't got the name of a Fisher Harris or a David Glamour or a Saifidi or a Payne Haas or anything like that. But i tell you what, he, he you is. watch him from the kickoff. He runs from, you know, over the fence and at the chip line. He mm. hits harder than most of those blokes. Mm. And, uh, and he's a good story where he worked hard to get where he was. So. Yeah. You always, <clears throat> you always root for those people that have worked their whole lives mm. or gone, th gone through the struggles to get to that first grade position. And it, yeah, it's a good story you like to hear. 
So I, I understand why you're saying that the Phoenix Crosland uh, doesn't really fit the, this sort of suited yeah. game for the Warriors with Tamari Martin back and Johnson playing some probably almost back to his yeah. best footy as well. To be honest, I would even go. I know it's probably people say give the poor bloke a chance, but I would even look at going. Sorry, Phoenix, you go back to New South Wales Cup, um, and even bringing that Ryan Rivet up. Mm. Um, but yeah, put him back to fourteen. But I just think we need our start with our best side. And for me, uh, Kurt Man at six, which would be good to see Kurt with a bit of ball in his hand. Yeah. Uh, well, that'll be his. But that'll be his role, I'd say, this week. He'll do you think the, also? But once Brody Jones comes on, uh, not so much last week, but the week before, Brody Jones played like a second receiver, mm. and then Gamble was outside him again. Could see a bit of that, yeah. Mm. yeah. So maybe you know Brody might step up as well, and which I liked it, Gaz. Yeah, swap it around, and like you said, always keep the other side guessing. Mm. Mm. The uh, yeah, Crosland on fourteen. Yeah, like Dame, you're on a good player in his own yep. right, but he he just doesn't fit our piece of the puzzle at the moment. So, um, yeah. Anyway, who do you think will win? Um, I don't go past the Knights. I don't. Well, how about we say how many do you reckon the Knights will win by? Uh, eighteen. <coughs> eighteen. Knights by two. Ooh. Close game, I reckon. Yeah, I'd say close game. Knights by six. Yes. I'm on the other side of the fence. I think if the Warriors play like they did, they'll win by about four to six. Mm. So you reckon but, close game as well? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Good hard game. I'd, yeah. When they wake up next morning, they're going to be sore. Mm. I'm expecting, well, and I hope I'm right, um, another favourite of ours, or myself, Leo Thompson to rise to this game because you've got some... Big bobs in Aiden Fanua yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so. Mm. This is def- definitely a different side, Warriors, and from 100%. years gone by. Well, that, yeah. bon- that Bonte Afoa, he's a, a yeah. gun too. So. Yeah, but um, this is this is a quick rematch because we only played them. Yes. Yeah. See, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that at We're all. We're doing the same this week. We've got the Titans, who we played in round one. So two points for the Titans. No, technically it's round two for you guys. <laughs> well, round two, yeah. yeah. Well, still, but we'd, you, you, what I'm saying is we've yeah, not played. game of the season. Season, yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I think the <clears throat> the Knights can do it. Um, if we play like we've played in the last couple of weeks, but it's interesting to see um, if Crosland does get a fair bit of game time in six, mm. or even Kurt, how much of an asset Gamble is. You know, with him not being there. Will that show us, hey, we really need this bloke? Um, But, yeah, it's probably a a day or a round where Jackson Hastings really needs to step up and take control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, And show his worth. Well, he he took pretty good control last week. Yeah, he does, but he has Gamble there to fall back on where he's not going to this week, so he's really got to stand up and say, well, well, this is my team. That's right. He he might have to run the ball a little Mm. bit more, possibly. Which I'd like to, do, to say, especially, okay, when Kurt comes on at six, they're close to the line, you know, a couple of metres out, third or fourth tackle, whatever. Dummy and run at the line. Do a bit of a Cleary or early John's days where they dummy at the line and, you know, go over, back yourself. Yep. Kurt, Kurt's yeah. got that definite play, ball, ball playing ability. Hmm. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I reckon that will be, um, yeah, good game. And, you go. Hopefully, I'll be there. Yeah. Hope so. Hope so. Well, I'll be there, and uh, I reckon if you pair of lights go, I reckon we should take the cameras. Definitely. Talking schnit. Talking schnit. Do a bit of talking schnit, and uh, might have a look for our little prize cover. Might have a couple of giveaways, a giveaway, well, maybe. We'll see, see what we got. But um, yeah, keep an eye out for us at the game, and uh, come up and say hi. And, yeah. yeah. If you got any jokes, we could even say some jokes on there to help the crazy lady yeah. with some ideas. Definitely. But maybe, yeah. maybe even some more challenges of what I'm supposed to be maybe eating. Yeah, we f- you need a few more things for Corey to eat next week on the food challenge. So um, <laughs> yeah. you don't want to miss out, yeah. trust me. That some of the things he's eaten, yeah, <laughs> you just wait and see. <laughs> 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 All 
Do I call in sick to work the next day? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Well, it's well, more... Can, can if you want. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just more funny, you know, because you'll be blindfolded and, you know, like Vasaho was that day with the pickle and... And the orange. Yeah. Anyway, we might take a few words from our sponsor. I've got to be honest. One of my favourite things in this life is to sit down with some amazing meat and just stuff my face full of it. And the best meat that you will come across, honestly, is found at Steak and Chops Butchery at Tanilba Bay. Jump on their Facebook page and check out some of the prices and some of the specials. The quality is outstanding. The prices are excellent. You really can't go wrong. Steak, chops, sausages, mince, lamb loins. What more could you want? Get on down to Steak and Chops. That's 69 Beatty Boulevard in Tanilba Bay. Tell them the Sasquatch sent you. All right, guys, it's that time of night again. Time for Talking Schmidt. And uh, caller number one, who we got? Hi, it's Carly. Hey, Carly, how you going? Yeah, good, thank you, Phil. Not too bad. Uh, what question you got for us tonight? Yeah, I was just wondering what you thought about which Positions do you think the Knights lack its depth in? Oh, uh, this year I think we're lacking a little bit in the forwards. Um, yeah, I think the forwards in the back row maybe. Yeah, because we got rid of uh, we got rid of Clem, um, Jesse Sue, Jesse Sue. Uh, Someone else went. Basami to the, Solo. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, was it Jara and Mama Sia? Was that yeah. who went to the Par- Parramatta? Yeah. Um, who was the swap we made for Manzu? Yeah, we. Oh, that was. Uh, Randall Chris Randall Oh yeah so And we lost Two um, Was it two or four um, Young and up and coming um, Props So Yeah it's Yeah I reckon it's our I reckon the boys in the middle Like our front row Excuse me Front rowers Back rowers mm. So yeah For me I'd say It'd have to be in the In the forward department Get Big Gaz What yeah. do you think Same mate Yeah The um, the backs are looking good But yeah, Just they're good forwards, but there's that lacking, that bit more mongrel and stuff that you're always talking about. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So an extra prop, that would probably... Okay, uh, here's one for you. Um, we're on the market for another prop. Who do you go for and why? <laughs> That's a question. Mm. Who do we go for? Who do we go for? I know it would never happen, but... Uh, okay, a back row, Scott Sorensen. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. yep. Um, we got to throw. Uh, apparently, he's off contract too. So, mm. I say we throw what we have to at him um, because we've got some really good young guns in, uh, like Matt Crocker, mm-hmm. um, Jack yeah, John. Definitely. I've got a good one. I don't know if he'll come because I don't have his re-sign. But Payne Haas being a former Newcastle player. Well, that's player. that's who I was going to say. But I think it, they've locked him up long time. Mm. Mm. Carly, do you have a person in mind? Pardon? Do you have a person in mind like who the Knights should sign? I think they should give Matt Coke a bit more of a go. Yeah, yeah, I reckon he will too. Yeah. Um, yeah. He always gives it his hole, you know. He always gets in, has a good go, you know, always plays with his heart. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, he's one of those yeah. ones that doesn't get the raps that he deserves. But you, you'll you find um, towards the back end of this year and I reckon next year again that you'll see... Uh, you'll see Croaks in the uh, oh. in the start in thirteen. Um, Definitely, yeah. yeah. But it's good to see uh, you know that type of bloke. And Leo Thompson's another one. Um, you know the two. I see them as two young guys that are really pushing for top grade spots. What position does Dylan yeah, Lucas definitely. play? Dylan Lucas is also a back row. So right. um, but, you know, yeah. this day and age, the back rowers can really play in the proper. As yeah, well, the front so. row as well. So, but yeah, I mean, if you could pick any prop in the game to bring to Newcastle, um, obviously I'd love to have me Clem back, but I'd go, I'd go James Fisher Harris. Mm. Yeah. Also, another thing: how do you all feel about Bradman's best try that wasn't counted at Mudgee at the weekend? Oh, pathetic. I, like it should have been awarded <coughs> a try. I was just wondering how they got uh, Stevie Wonder to Mudgee because it had to be him <laughs> that you know that went through the video referee because yeah. I don't know yeah. how they come up with it, but um, mm. maybe we need to get the boys from the podcast in the uh, in, in the, the bunker. In the bunker. Definitely. 
Well, I guarantee you'll never get a uh, a bad result. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your question and okay, um, thank you. Thanks We're for coming. loving the look of the new show. You're doing a great job. Awesome, thank thanks, Ad. It's thank um, yeah, it's great awesome. to have yep. viewer feedback, and um, we're actually doing a bus trip down to the Eels um, in a couple of weeks, and then one to Penrith. So still um, seeds available for that Parramatta one, yep. I do believe. Isn't yeah, it? still seeds available for the Parramatta one, and then uh, we'll be doing the Penrith one that no seats have actually been allocated yet. But for the Penrith one, we will be having a double decker bus. Oh, it'll be awesome, Chief. Can't wait. Yeah, no, it will be good and Krispy Kreme donuts, and um, we might even go play a bit of aqua golf and that kind of stuff and make a real day yeah, of it. Awesome. So, thanks for your call. Enjoy the rest of the show okay, and thank you. go the night. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, Kylie. Yeah. Bye. Good night, Kylie. Bye. All right, guys, that's caller number one. Mm. Let's go to caller number two. All right, caller number two. Who we got? Christopher Vasalo. Ah, oh, young Mr. Vasalo. Here you go, Vassalo. mate. Good features. What uh, question you got for us tonight, mate? Uh, just a question, probably on every night um, on every night's list about the Bradman Best try. Y- yeah, mate. That's Have been- you been talking to your, our previous caller? <laughs> <laughs> no, it should have been a try, and I reckon, to be honest, the Knights were robbed of the win. That I'm not saying they would have won the game, but they. I would have went close. So momentum and, changes, and yeah, um, exactly. But the old saying, mate, you win some, you lose some. There's not much you can do about it. But uh, yeah, it definitely was a try, uh, Gary. I didn't get to yep. see it, but the the word that I heard off everyone said it was a try. Um, yeah. It, like you said, the momentum swings, and uh, probably would have been a win by the Knights. Mm. Unlucky, Ma- mate. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, in the eyes of everyone else, it was a try. Uh, Stevie Wonder even confirmed it was a try. Um, yep. No, he didn't confirm. Didn't no, he didn't he? Didn't no, he did because even he could see it was. <laughs> <laughs> but. but um, yeah, unfortunately, mate, that's the – we're going back to the old saying where everyone has to be under the same interpretation of the rules and stuff like that. Until that happens, nothing's going to change. And yeah. you're going to have this uh, – well, I go as far as saying bullshit calls because, mm. I mean, how would you yep. feel if that was to win the grand final or even get you to the grand final, a bogus call like that? Mm. You'd be fuming. Well, we, yes, we all, all would, would be all, all would be fuming. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, mate, I hope that's answered your, co- your question for you and uh, enjoy the rest yes. of the show. Thank you, I will. Thank you. All right, go the nights. See you, Vaseline. Good night. See you, Vaseline. Good night. All right, guys, that's Bye. caller number two. Let's go to caller number three. All right, guys, caller number three. Who we got? <coughs> yeah, g'day, boys. My name's Frank. How are you? Uh, Frank, g'day, mate. Uh, Frank, who, sorry? Uh, Frank Vasalo. <laughs> Frank Vasalo. <Vizzalo. laughs> hey, how you going, buddy? Yeah, they call me Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. Mate, uh, what what question you got for us this week? Oh, no question. I don't want to find out what you guys saw might happen at the game this weekend because I'm a Warriors fan. Oh, uh, I think it's bad news for you, buddy. My nephew, he's, uh, he's a nice fan, so I want to rev him up a bit if I can. Uh, who's your nephew? Oh, he's a local boy. His name's Chris. Oh, Chris Vazzale. Oh, wow. oh, oh, Christopher, the Mr. Vaseline. <laughs> well, why would you call him that? Oh, not sure, mate. You'd have to ask him. That's just his nickname. Okay, yeah. So I reckon um, my boys will give your boys a hike this week. Yeah, oh, mate, dreams are free. Um, so, yeah, you, you never know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a close game this week, but so. Frank, I uh, went for the Warriors. I'll stand by you, mate. All right, thanks. And what's your name? Uh, They call me Bar Boy Berkey. Okay, I'll just remember that when when things go down. I'll look after you. Okay, mate. I'll I'll be waiting. Frank, have you got a question this week for us, mate? I'm a legitimate businessman, and I just want to make sure that you all understand I'm a legitimate businessman, and uh, I'm not threatening you at all, but uh, should the Knights get up and win, uh, we might have a few problems. Oh, looks like we're going to have some issues then, because mm. I reckon the Knights are going to uh, give you 
Uh, sheep shag is a bit of a, a bit of a uh, hiding. I reckon. Well, I go for the Warriors, but I'm definitely not a Kiwi. I is um, your HIA boy going to turn up this week? Last week for five minutes. Oh, I have had rumours heard that he's going to run the water this week and get back in. Um, no, what is it? Um, set the fire alarm off. Want to be careful up in there with a water bottle. Yeah, Bobby Boucher. Oh, Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Uh, anyway, mate, uh, yeah, so best of luck to your Warriors, but I can't see it happening, so... Uh, hey, have you ever, ever seen my nephew over there um, telling me he sucks? Telling me why he <laughs> sucks? <laughs> oh, I think, mate, he's probably just heard you because he watches this show religiously, so... Uh, oh, Chris, I love you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right mate uh thanks for your call yeah all the best all right guys uh, that was talking schmidt for one week and uh we might take a short uh messages from our sponsor it seems that everywhere you look these days you're going to find somebody covered in tattoos tattoos are common not like they used to be so what do you do if you are wanting some ink that stands out from the rest of the pack Head on down to Sayers Inc. Check out some of their award-winning work. They are a great friend and sponsor of the show. Jump on their website and look at some of the work from John, from Scott, Army, Dean, Jess, Mandy. Their work is stellar, obviously long-lasting, and you'll be happy with the result. Sayers Inc. We can't promise it won't hurt, but we can promise great results. Jump on to sayers-inc.com.au. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, Jono, Daly Ems. Daly Ems. Well, we've got Harry. We've got a couple of players leading. Three plays on 16 points. Harry Grant, Payne Haas, and Reese Walsh. Wouldn't that be awkward if yeah. two people won it from the same club? I can understand Reese Walsh being up there, definitely. Um, next play down, Careers, Sean Johnson, Big Tino's on 13. Drake Travojevic is on... No, Tom Travojevic, sorry. I don't know where I got the J from. It's so on 12, Adam Reynolds, 11, Ben Hunt, 11, Nathan Cleary, 11, Daly Cherry Evans, 9, Con Sickle, Nonsclark, 9, and who else? Still an I would have thought Nathan eight. Cleary would have been up a bit higher than uh, that. Mm. Mm. But maybe it's the week he jumps mm. into the top. Even so, um, we got uh, Lockie Miller down on 8 points. I thought he would have been up a bit higher too. So. Yeah. Okay, Makes you us. wonder who, how they do this, but... <laughs> Gay guys on eight points too. Uh, yeah, interesting. It's still anyone's game. Obviously, early, early. Yeah, John. Yeah, I was just uh, so I'm going through the second page of the list, trying to find a Parramatta player. Hey, John. Yeah. Shush. <laughs> We're just hanging back, mate. We're just hanging back. There you go. Down the bottom. <laughs> Down the bottom. Regan Campbell Gillard's on four points. See, we're starting. See, there's another one. Four points. Isaiah Yo. Surely he'd be had more than that. Another one that's been killing it for the Broncos on four points. Well, look at Jordan Nico, Ricky. Nico Hines six points. And he's only played one game. Yeah, yeah. like I think there's a a bullshit structure. A, no, it's two, he's played two games, but there is a, a and don't forget quote me on this, but I do believe the whole system has changed this year. But Jordan Ricky has played yeah. exceptionally well all year. Like mm. last week, he was probably one of the best on the park. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's got four points. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense to me. I'll tell you what. They've got to employ Stevie Wonder to do another job because he's just not cutting it. Because, <laughs> mate. And I'll, and I'll say, I'll just listen to it. Ben Hunt's on 11. Like, okay, yeah, he had a good game last week. But what else has he done since then? Nothing. That's right. So how does he, how does he get 11 points? <laughs> and, you know, that and, and, and that's coming. That's right. You know, so. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's get into uh, this week's games. Uh, first one, Thursday night is uh, before the bunny comes on the weekend. Um, Melbourne uh, over the against the Roosters down at Amy Park. Give me the Chooks. No Tedesco. You going to take the Chooks, eh? I'm going to go Chooks. I'm going to take the Roost, uh, Storm. So I'm taking at, Storm. Yeah, because it's at Amy Park. No, Storm. no Teddy for me. I know Sawali mm. or whoever, Manu goes to fullback and... Um, but yeah, Teddy out. It's In, probably... Interesting, also while we're talking about Storm Nelson and Solomona, uh, the rugby union are after him. Oh, yeah, let him go. I don't like him. Doesn't I love him? 
A lot of people don't, but he's. I mean, if you if you go, ah. didn't he just sign with the uh, resign with Stormbart? That um, means nothing. Yeah, uh, uh, contracts yeah. mean nothing. A lot of people don't like the big Nelson, right? If but he's on Parramatta side, it would I'd change. You know? That's right. He's one that you'd want to be playing behind, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, he won. If you get into a bit of a dust up too, he'd have your back. Yeah, ex- and, you know. Didn't he have um, oh, one of the when they're in Bali or in something. Bali, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and come and come and come Yeah. No, wasn't it? Um, started with a V. Old Storm Winger. Gun. Oh yeah, Vunavalu. Vunavalu, yeah. yeah. Like, have you seen the size of his hands? They're like bloody. Baseball man, <laughs> Jesus. So, yeah, I like the bloke. To be honest, like going mm. back to prop forwards, he's another one I'd like to have in our club. Yeah. Mm. So uh, handy to have on your team rather than against you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, next one is the um, the Chihuahuas versus the Rabbits. Uh, the dogs <laughs> versus the, the Rabbitohs. Um, hard. This one's going to be a toss of the coin, eh? Oh, uh, give me the dogs. No, I'm going south. Oh, I'm gonna. Put a question mark on that one for me because I'm still undecided. Uh, Gary, rabbits, rabbits. I don't think the bulldogs can do it two weeks in a row. Mm, true. Carrying, um, carrying a few injuries, I think. Yeah. So this one's going to be an interesting one too. The North Queensland Cowboys up against the uh, Dolphins. I think. Oh, look. I think the, the injury toll is really starting to mount up on the Dolphins at the yeah. moment. They're only down That'd to Cody. Factor. Only down to Cody Nikarima and, and Isaiah Katoa in the halves. Like they've lost. A, Maybe a lot. Can, maybe that's where I can get a run with the dolphins. Mm-hmm. Girl, give me the fins. I'm going for the fins. You're going to get the fins up. Yeah, I'm going to go for the cowboys. They've got to bounce back and yeah. win at home. I'm going to yeah. take fins, the cowboys. Fins as well. Hey. Oh, two mm-hmm. two. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one should be a pretty good game. Uh, Penrith Panthers uh, back home at Blue Bet Stadium against the uh, the Bin Chickens. Yeah, it's Panthers for me. Yeah, it's got to be the Panthers. Yeah, Panthers, Gary. Panthers. Panthers. I think uh, it's going to be a good game, but... Mm. I reckon it might be a bit closer than people think, but then maybe Penrith might run away with it towards the end. But the way Nathan Cleary's playing, and um, uh, only thing is, James Fisher-Harris is out. Is that correct? Yeah. For is Liam weeks. Martin back yet? I'm not sure, but I'd say he might come in for I he Fish. last week. No, uh, Zach Hosting's played. No. He's been playing good footy, hasn't Absolute he? gun. Another yeah. one, Newcastle, let go. Um... But yeah, I think you'll see fish out for a couple of weeks. But yeah, uh, Moses and that will have to step up. So yeah, I think the Panthers will take that one. But um, Saturday, uh, the Ponies versus the uh, the Raiders there. Uh, Brisbane for me, I think yeah. they'll yeah go on. Yeah, Canberra's just uh, you know, and our good mate Shane's a big Canberra supporter. But um, to me, they're sort of a bit of a letdown this year because I think they could do a lot better than what they are. Um, they got a good team, but just something isn't right and not clicking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for an upset here. I'm gonna go the Raiders. Ooh! Mm. I tell you one thing. We're gonna go to a Raiders game because we've got to try that green milk. I'd like to go. What go to a Raiders game just to look at the Viking clap? Yeah, me too. And who You've had the, the clap, haven't you? <laughs> and who, but doesn't what? someone blow the horn too? Yeah, but if you watch c- closely, it's a recording. Because uh, okay. you see, old mate there the other day, and he was blowing it, and then nothing was happening. And all of a sudden, um, <laughs> <laughs> they generally get a but former Canberra player to to be on the. Yeah, but I also think it should be for something like that. They should also put it out there to to members of the of the club mm. to do a competition because we know our you know our um, behind the camera shame would I'd say he'd probably be a keen. He, w- he would, you know, being a big Canberra fan, so mm. that'll be. Yeah. Are you, are you taking Gary? I'm going to ponies. And what's this green milk? Uh, it's I'm not sure if it's flavoured or if it's just green milk, but it's flavoured. It's the mint. Lime. Is it? Lime. Lime. Remember the old lime used to be able to get? Well, down there they got the Canberra Green Machine green milk, lime. Okay, I'd, I've had the pine one the other day. It wasn't too bad. The pine one? Pine. Pine. Like, like the splice pine. Oh yeah, that's oh. nice. Yeah, it's splice. Nice yeah. and cold. Yeah, yeah. you very goats milk. Who goats? No, no, I me mean, never. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, be, going. yeah, be interesting to try that. Um. Anyway, the next one, the Gold Coast Titans. This one's going to be a snores fest against the 
<laughs> Dragons. <laughs> nah, you'll be surprised. This we, might be actually a lot more ex- entertaining than people think, to be honest. We don't have a good record in Brisbane. I well, like it's on the Gold Coast. Knows. Well, <laughs> that too. But... <laughs> Doesn't matter where they play. I oh, know, but... Um, I know they got a few out the the Gold Coast Titans. I had a look at their side today, and um, pressed was it the Jaden Campbell? Every time he plays against the Dragons, he kills us. So I'm oh, expecting right him to uh, have a big game, and I think they'll um, have a probably probably win this one. And I think and put more pressure on Anthony. So you had a look at the side. Um, did uh, Randall from our club is he playing? Chris Randall, I believe he's on the bench. So I find. I know we got Marju an absolute gun, and I'm glad we did, but I was sad to see Chris Randall go because, mm. God, he put in 100% each week. He reminded me a lot of Matt Crocker. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it would have been good to keep both of them. Uh, maybe we could have swapped for someone else, Phoenix. Oh, or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. anyway. Uh, next one, we know the Knights are going to beat the Warriors, correct? Yeah. Correct. Wrong. Wrong. Four by Gary's going with the Warriors. Uh, this one. Uh, I'm going to talk about Snooze Fest. <laughs> West Tigers versus the Riverworms. Well, I'm, I reckon the Tigers might do it. I'm actually going to go, and this will lead into my bold prediction. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So is this going to be the round of the week where they have a bet, the MP? Yeah. Who, who's having a bet? You and guys, because you're saying that it's going to... That you think the Tigers are going to beat the Riverworms? I think the only the basis here that their Tigers are due. Oh, here we go. Yeah, is that, but is that all you're basing it on? And well, if the Tigers win, I'll wear a Parramatta jersey all week. So you're not going to get changed. <laughs> <laughs> no. If Parramatta win, he's got to wear your Parramatta jersey all week. Wear mine. Oh, I don't think he owns one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll think of something. We'll think of something. something. But you're mm. taking the bet? Yeah. Uh, me and John I will come up with us. So we'll we'll come up with when, when my son was 175 kilos, he had a Parramatta shirt. I put it on the other day and it just swam on me. So if Parramatta win, you're wearing it. <laughs> That's fine by me. Okay. I don't, I, mind, um, I don't mind wearing blue and gold. What about a blue and yellow dress? I can blue and yellow Well, this would be like a dress. Yeah. Oh. We'll That's put a little belt on it. When oh. I first met Kylie, um, we all know Kylie's two foot tall grasshopper, and I was bigger than what I am now, a bit more weight. And anyway, there's a photo I go around with Kylie with a, one of my Knights jerseys on, the old um, white one with the blue and red stripes up there. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what, it looks like she's got a car cover on. <laughs> <laughs> that is huge, eh? Look, I'm, I'm definitely not confident about it, but I just think the Tigers are due for a oh. win. So oh, that's all. here we go. But a bet's a bet, so I'll take it. So, so it's a, a blue and yellow dress. Hey, I'm going to take this one step further, right? Mm-hmm. Because next week you're doing your food critique, right? Oh. Yeah, which is going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you beat that... We'll buy your six pack, right? If you win, there. Right up. If you lose, yeah, you've got to go into a shop that we choose, right? And buy a blue or yellow dress, go to the counter, pay for it, and walk out. Sounds good to me. On camera. On camera. All right. Well, what, yeah. what about? You can you can you get your cam- get our cameras around to uh, to film this? Done. So he's just going to live a normal day in his life. <laughs> 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 what about he buys the dress and then? As he goes out, goes into a toilets and then puts it on. And no, no, no. Out. He's got to have it on as he goes to pay for it. Just with the okay. No. No, some, some places don't let you do that. Oh, well, he will be. Yeah, have the tag hanging out. Yeah, you got to tie it up. You'll, you'll have to tie it up with a. Oh with yeah, staff. we'll be right. Yeah, don't you worry. I'll tie it up. Yeah, <laughs> it's done. Uh, it, start looking. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so what's our what's Paramata, our game? Parramatta boy, buddy. Ten. Yeah. Oh, he's getting cocky now. Anyway, uh, game of the week, Shane. I'm going to go Knights Warriors because I think it's going to be very close. All right, game of the week this week for the fridge, Gary. Gary. To win our fridge game of the week will be Knights and Warriors. So pick the score. Pick the score. And you know what? Nobody. Um, I forgot. This is my fault. For I had a a big week at work, I didn't pick a second chance draw. So not only do you get a chance to win by this by picking the score, 
If you're at any Knights game, any NRL game this week, send us a photo in to the show. Mm. And the best one, or one that we like the most, is going to get on the board for that. So, you know, we're going to be out and about with the camera, so you might even get a photo of one of these ugly mugs and send it in. Mm. So, you know, there's a double chance to get in and win that. So, $1,500 fridge or thereabouts. We, so, we want um, someone to get it. Mm. Hey, if you don't want it, I'll have it. Mm. I look good in uh, terrific fridge. Yeah. Sorry. Terrific fridge. It is. Makes, it is. A, makes the beers nice and cold. Oh yeah. Nice yeah. and cold. So. Uh, Grand Matriarch vodka. Yes. Grand Matriarch, get on it. Major show sponsor the Burden Automotive Group in Maitland and Port Stephens, comprising of Maitland Toyota, Port Stephens Toyota, Hunter GWM, Cardiff GWM, Port Stephens GWM, and also Hunter 4x4 accessories in Maitland and yes, in Cardiff. The Burden Automotive Group have been proudly supporting the community for 60 years. They've been supporting this show. Please go support the sponsors that support us. Anyway, guys, bold predictions for this week. Done's mine's done. Oh yeah, that what Tigers. Was yours? Tigers to beat tigers the room. To win. <laughs> so hang on a minute. What does Gary do if you lose? Oh, shut up. I got away with that. He has to wear a dress as well. Can I have a uh, window fifty? So I've read a white dress. Yeah, but um, so it's a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> he has right. to dye his hair. So so do, do, you take, stilettos? do you take the the bet for the red and white dress? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's uh, on. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> what is it going to look like a goose? <laughs> it's all we good don't fun. Care. We don't nah, it's all good fun. Yeah. My board prediction is um, Leo you, Thompson to get over. I was just thinking we should do one step more. Oh. Whoever loses wears the dress and holds the hand of the other one walking out of the shopping centre. <laughs> Why would you incriminate yourself to do that? <laughs> All right, you heard it in. That's what it is. Maybe. Can you just add no more adding to this box? That's <laughs> me now. You'll have your hair dyed. Um, Leo Thompson, did you get one? And a late call up of uh, Kurt Mann to start at six. Well, I don't think that's so bold, but yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's bold, but uh, yeah, that's uh, what we think is going to happen. Uh, uh, well, here's bold: the Dolphins will win by at least twenty points. Ooh, the Dolphins over the Cowboys. Have a bet with that one with no one. It's a bold <laughs> that's prediction. only one a week. <laughs> it's a bold. It's a bold prediction. Bold. Oh, well, you lost your bet last week, so you've got to dress up and drag it as well. So, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. What's what? That? We'll all hold hands together. We'll, we'll talk about this one off you camera. Were very confident that the Dolphins would absolutely annihilate the Dragons. Well, guess what? Happened the other way. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Come Fins in. down, no, no, baby. No, he wasn't dressing up. He had to get in a lycra suit or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lycra suit. Get it right. Yeah, it was a lycra well, suit. No, drag, drag stuff will be good enough. No, for no, no. no, no, no you, if you being, the drag, me, being the drag queen, so I thought maybe drag. No, be, it bets a bet. He can be his lycra, oh, and yeah. uh, you don't want to take the limelight off of your pair of drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so. Get out and about, watch the games this week. If not, um, guys, you got a bold prediction? You just cut Smitter off then. Oh, it's all good. Yes, I have. Which is Parramatta win by <laughs> 10 points. Is that a bold prediction? It's not that bold. Well, you reckon Tigers are going to win, so it's a lot bolder than yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's uh, more uh, braver than anyway. That, I reckon Mitchell will be, uh, will win the game. Like, he'll, he'll play out of his skin for it. Where's it held at? At Combank? Or is this actually. I got no idea. No, it's Stadium got Australia. Me. Yeah, right. It's a Tigers home game. Right. More, Any, more for an insult. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that's us for this week. Okay. Big thank you to yep. um, our, our legend MG yep. coming in. Yep. Uh, Elliot up there in uh, Townsville, the yep. Rush Hour Triple M. Thanks for, to all our sponsors. sponsors. Uh, yeah, all of our sponsors. sponsors. Uh, Harry Snitzels, get out and have a Snitzel because they're absolutely delish. Uh, Say your zinc. Burnt Automotive. Grand Matriarch. The gal. Pernells. Pernells. Go, and go and visit the liquidators. They're off for this week from, from Saturday till Monday on public holiday, so they'll be open till Thursday this week. Get your a steak and chops. Oh, yeah, steak and chops. I'll give you a bit of a clue. Steak and chops might be involved with your eating challenge next Ooh. week. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. 
Yummy? Yeah, as long as it's not tripe. Oh, God, he guessed it. No, it's not. It's not tripe. <laughs> right. What the hell's tripe? Oh, the insides of a cow. Oh. That white stuff with a little bubble. <laughs> okay. Oh. And a uh, big shout out to Sasquatch. And the same same as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and uh, BFF, our new um, associate with uh, Sayers Inc., mm-hmm. uh, Johnny, Johnny Sayers Open uh, Burgers. Fish and fries, I believe. That's um, at Jewelstown Plaza. So go down, have a tattoo, and get some fries. Um, big Gaz. And the Green Matriarch. Mm. I, think, I think Gaz is up. Uh, Burton through. Automotive. I don't think we... Th- we have said Burton this. Automotive, but we can't do it without them. Also thank Burton Automotive for supplying MG for us tonight as well. Yeah. So... All right, guys. Uh, we'll be out and about the game. So come, a, come up and say good day. Get a... You know, and uh, we might have a couple of prizes maybe to hand out here and there uh, for our best interviewer or best joke teller. Um, don't forget to get a photo with anything, anyone, anything funny or anything out of the game and send it in for your second chance draw yeah. on the fridge. Um, get in, there's still about 10 seats left, 10 to 12, I think, maybe. Or it might even be 15, it's somewhere around that anyway. Seats left on the bus nice. for... Uh, the Eels game And then yeah We have a Huge bus going down To The Panthers So uh, What a day that's going to be Lots of fun Is that a day game that one? Yeah it is a sad day So we'll be going pretty early Oh when I say early I don't mean crack of dawn how Sparrows long, fart, how, long, how long will that How long how, When do they play? How many more weeks? Oh about 25th of June I think. So about four weeks four, four, uh, Oh no okay. No about eight Yeah it's a fair bit Okay Because we haven't even played Penra first, right. happy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to be going down there. There's crispy cream donuts. We're going to go to the club. We're going to uh, time zone down there. We might even get some of us on iFly. Yeah. And I think we should go on. Um, if we rafting? No, I think I reckon if we can get down there early enough, I reckon we throw you blokes on the cables water skiing. I've okay. never done it in my life. Daredevil duds. Daredevil duds. <laughs> I like it. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's yeah. full stop. All right, yeah, so exactly. um, yeah, let's get into it. So get on the bus with us. It's going to be an awesome trip. Uh, giveaways, lots of fun stuff. Um, so yeah, till next week. Hang on a sec. Big thank you for. Oh, big, big thanks Shane to um, the yeah. crazy lady. Yeah, the, sorry, the crazy lady. I'll thank you later. Um, thanks but also a big thanks to. Uh, yeah, Shane um, does a lot of work behind the cameras and um, yeah, couldn't do it without him. But also, uh, Big Adam, the big Sasquatch. Gosh, um, champion guy, and hopefully we'll have him over here on the show soon. So, um, That'd be great. absolute yeah. legend of a guy. So, until next week, come and see us at the game. Get a photo with one of these gooses and get on the show. You never know by doing that, you could win your spot on the fridge. But um, catch you next week and once a night. Always a night. Good night. So here's, uh, here's a couple of dad jokes for you. What are bald sea captains most worried about? Mermaids. Capsizes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call an old person with really good hearing? Deaf defying. What did one traffic light say to the other? Look away, I'm changing. (laughs) Why did the photo go to jail? (laughs) Black and white. It was framed. (laughs) (laughs) What did the ocean say to the sand, Jono? What? Nothing. It just waved. (laughs) (laughs) Why don't oysters share their pearls? They're shellfish. <laughs> Did you hear about the circus fire? Did it put itself out? It was intense. <laughs> <laughs> what did the reception at the sperm bank say to the clients as the clients were leaving? Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, my slogan would be, I've got crabs. Two birds are sitting on a perch. The one says the other, can you smell fish?
<laughs> All right, guys, and uh, welcome back. And it's time for uh, to start again. 